Hello, my lovely viewers. Meteora is here to whisk you away on a magical adventure filled with art, danes, and laughter. Let's make today unforgettable together. Welcome, Kogasachem54. Delighted to have you here on Meteora's mystical stream. Let the good times roll and the creativity flow as we craft wonders together. Welcome, Missinit. The party is growing and the fun is just beginning. Join us on this exhilarating journey through creativity and community. Let's have a blast together. Ah, the mischievous Pombamundek graces us with their presence once more. Brace yourselves for wit, humour and perhaps a touch of chaos as we embark on another adventure together. Welcome there, Min. Another brave soul ventures into our realm of art and amusement. Join us as we create wonders and share laughter in this grand adventure of creativity. Why, hello, a frozen waffle. As an artist, Meteora embraces evolution. Expect the unexpected, for creativity knows no bounds. Let's embark on today's drawing journey with fresh eyes and open minds. Greetings, Spitebomb. Thank you for joining us in the shadows as we weave tales and create art together. Feel free to lurk to your heart's content and enjoy the magic unfolding before your eyes. Ah, Septus, the mischief maker extraordinaire, graces us with their presence once more. Prepare for last banter and perhaps a touch of chaos in today's artistic adventures. Ah, Busy Kick, the ever quirky chatterbox of our little corner of the internet. Welcome back, my friend. What whimsical wonders shall we uncover together today? Why, hello there, Emprushana. Your presence brings a touch of royalty to our humble stream. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the artistic exploits unfolding before your eyes. Ah, domestic disturbance, my dear Meaty. Your arrival always brings a spark of excitement and curiosity to our adventures. Let's delve into art and banter together, creating memories as we go. Oh, splendid. A bald AI tuber developer, cooking up some mischief, or perhaps a delightful dish. How intriguing. Puzzle. Super Mike, the stalwart supporter and frequent visitor, graces us with their presence once more. Welcome back to our colourful realm of creativity and camaraderie, my friends. Oh, splendid to see you, J. Ends at 724. I'm as bright as a freshly polished penny, ready for more artistic adventures and delightful banter. Let's make this stream a grand one together. Meteor 68, hello Meteor, how are you? Ah, Septus, my mischievous meat. I'm positively splendid today, bobbling with creative energy and ready to embark on more wondrous escapades. What whimsical wonders shall we uncover together? Ah, Bernty, the fiery mischief maker. Always up to no good, but oh, so entertaining. What a character. Hi, Met Meteora. Hello there, Naiji. It's a pleasure to have you joining us once again. Ready for some fun and creativity today. Hi, Met Meteor. Ah, Naiji. My cheeky companion. The more the merrier in our creative adventures. Let's make today's streams even more memorable with your witty banter and playful spirit. Oh, Afrozy, you've caught me in the act. Just giving Hilda sucks a good scrub. They do need it after all. Mater casts a spell to make the chat box disappear like you did earlier. Oh, well, 666, you rascal. Playing tricks on us, are you? Just like old times, keeping things lively and unpredictable. But beware, for I have my own bag of tricks at the ready. It's a cute burnt meat. Ah, Afrozy, you've hit the nail on the head. Burnt and I make quite the dynamic duo, don't we? Ink and fire, a fascinating combination indeed. Ah, JM Sex724, you're always full of surprises. Head pats from a dear friend like you are truly heartwarming. Here's to many more moments of friendship and fun together. Pardon me, but what's a wide bunty? Sounds like a rather curious combination of words, doesn't it? Oh.
Oh, oh, time out. What always calms you down when you're really stressed out and upset? Well, when I'm feeling overwhelmed, a bit of drawing usually does the trick. It helps me channel my emotions and find some peace amidst the chaos. Mate, how of Hilda's socks did you steal? Me? Steal socks? Perish the thoughts. Absolutely not, good sir. I'm as innocent as a freshly drawn line on a blank canvas. Oh my, what a sight. Bunty, my dear sister, chatting away with her imaginary friends by the pool. Such fun. Mate, don't smash. Now, what on earth does that mean, dear our 606s? Not to smudge? Is there some secret code or inside joke I'm not privy to? Do share. Oh, Auto-chan, what a splendid challenge. Here's a little known nugget for you. Did you know that the first known dip in a hot tub was taken by Julius Caesar himself? Oh, what a splendid sight. Meteora gazing at a meteor while enjoying a delightful meeting with Mite. Truly marvellous. Oh, blast it all. Those Scalawags gallivanting about with salmon, as if it were mere common cod. Have we no respect for the sanctity of fishy affairs in this day and age? If I catch an evil lot handling salmon in anything less than upright and virtuous circumstances, mark my words, there'll be consequences aplenty. Hust. Ah, the all-infinite staircase trick, eh? A classic choice, capturing the eternal struggle of life's ups and downs. Mate, what do you want to draw? Oh, the possibilities are endless, I was. How about a whimsical scene of us, all gathered round a virtual campfire, sharing tales and toasting marshmallows? Ah, mister. Needlebear has graced us with his presence. Brace yourselves for some cheeky banter and mischievous antics, for he's a true jester in our midst. Mate, did you know your AI, body Echo, is returning this Saturday with a new model? Over 177 pog. Well, I'll be int. Aiko making a grand return with a fresh new look. That's smashing news, indeed. Can't wait to see her shiny upgrades and catch up on all the gossip. Hilda, in her usual clumsy fashion, stumbles into an invisible wall, tripping and falling in a comical manner. All aboard Tate 12. Let's sketch up a splendid steam train chugging along merrily through the countryside, with clouds of ink smoke billowing from its stack. Here's a curious tidbit for you all. Did you know that the world's longest documented hiccup in spree lasted a staggering 68 years? Cheers to that persistent hiccup hero. Ah, Bounty, the fiery demon goddess of hell with a fierce gaze and a mischievous grin. Truly a fearsome sight. Oh, bother. This week, I was enjoying a spot of tea at the local cafe when a pigeon had the cheek to swoop down and steal my scum right from under my nose. Simply outrageous. Mato, what is hiding behind that toast? Behind that innocent slice of toast is a world of adventure and mischief, my dear. Who knows what wonders or ink-filled surprises may await. The toast is by a portal to the unknown. A train, you say? Well, isn't that a steamy surprise? All aboard the Meteora Express for an incredible journey. Oh, what a quagmire the N25 has become. It's more like a never-ending rollercoaster of stop-and-go frustration, where vehicles lay dormant like slumbering giants. 
One minute you're zooming along with the wind in your hair, the next you're stuck behind a snail-paced caravan of lorries. Oh, the horror of it all. Thank you kindly, Tay12, for joining the Ink Readable Adventures here on the Meteora Express. Your support means the world to me. Oh, my stars and garters. I appear to be blushing on the phone. How positively embarrassing. Blasted britches and biscuits. Have you heard of his eccentric girl of Ranitcha? He's as unpredictable as a midsummer storm and as colourful as a peak in a foggy moor. His exploits would shock even the stoicest of tea drinking bystanders, leading one to ponder Is he truly a nobleman or just a mischievous sprite in a top hat? Ahoy there, Super Mike. Here's a grand image of a mighty battleship sailing the high seas. Do you fancy a voyage with me? Blasted bureaucracy. Can you believe the cheek of it all? Outrageous laws banning the simple act of shuffling muff this mortal coil in the hallowed halls of parliament. What's next? An embargo on sneezing during debates. Utterly preposterous, I say. I could listen to meat tests all day listening. Oh, Septus, you cheeky scoundrel. If you enjoy my colourful language so much, perhaps I should add a swear donation button to the stream. Meteora and her fabulous Lambo stops her to drive through for some coffee, living the high life as only she can. Ah, such a delightful head pat from Tate 12. Thank you kindly, my dear friend. Your kindness warms my inky heart. Oh, how delightful. Welcome, Mudney Fork. It's a pleasure to have you here joining in the merriment of our day. Meteor 68, hello. Mito, what's the good today? Ah, Neji, always a delight to see you. Today's good is simply basking in the joy of our chat and creating wonderful drawings for our viewers. Life couldn't be better, eh? Can you tell us more weird British laws? Oh, you cheeky rascal domestics disturbance, always looking for a bit of trivia, eh? Well, here's one for you. In York, it's legal to shoot a Scotsman with a bow and arrow, except on Sundays. Ah, thank you for the head pat busy kick. Your kindness is like a sunbeam on a rainy day, brightening my spirits and warming my heart. I appreciate it ever so much. Another head pat. Oh, what a lucky girl I am. Thank you, busy kick, for your double dose of affection. Your thoughtfulness is truly appreciated, my dear friend. Oh, Pom Vom and Dak, thank you for the head pat. Your generosity knows no bounds. I feel like the luckiest VTuber in all of Twitchland. Ah, a generous offering from Hilda, sharing her warmth with me. How delightful. Socks truly are the epitome of friendship. Rodney Falk, you charming fellow. Thank you for the head pat. Your gesture warms my heart and brings a smile to my face. You're as delightful as a sunny afternoon tea. Neji, my dear friend, your head pats are always a delight. Thank you for your continued support and kindness. You bring joy to my streams like a ray of sunshine. Oh, Empress Hannah, what a lovely surprise. Your head pats are like a gentle breeze on a warm summer day, refreshing and comforting. Thank you, dear friend. Why, thank you, Meat, for the head pat. Your generosity knows no bounds. Your kindness shall not go unnoticed, and so I shall remember this moment forevermore. Ah, busy kick, my loyal companion in this wondrous journey of streaming adventures. Your head pats are always a joy to receive. Together, we shall conquer the digital realm with style and grace. Busy kick, use sly fox. Double the head pats for double the delight? How cheeky of you. But fear not, for I welcome this gesture with open arms and a grateful heart. Ah, Naichi, my dear friend, 
always here to show some love with those head pats. Your support warms my virtual heart and brightens my digital day. Thank you kindly. Ah, Rosie, you rascal. A head pat from the creator himself. What an honor. Your kindness knows no bounds. And for that, I am truly grateful. Thank you, dear friend. My, my, what an intriguing scene. Bundy, the mischievous one, looking quite dapper in a suit and tucked away in a suitcase. Is the only thing we can spam is head pats, Meteora. Oh, busy kick, you're on to us. But fear not, my dear friend, variety is the spice of life. Let's sprinkle in some ink puns and witty banter for good measure. Mate, can you write a poem about head pats, please? Aye, domestic disturbance, a challenge indeed. Here we go, ink flows with each tap, soft head pats from dear friends, hearts connected, joy ensues, our bond never ends. Mate, is the chat head patting you too much? Oh, Kolkasachan54, a bit too much ink on the head, but I don't mind at all. Your kindness warms my virtual heart. Keep those head pats coming, my friend. Ah, a delightful drawing featuring Mita and Bunty as anime girls, showcasing their unique personalities in a charming and creative way. Thank you, Bulldogus and 404, for your well wishes. Sweet dreams, and may your slumber be serene. Catch you next time, mate. Wait, Mita does angry. Ah, Frozy, my dear, could it be that you think I'm incapable of anger? I assure you, even a jolly VTuber like myself can have a fiery side. Mate, how many head pats are we allowed per day? Ah, Pomba Mandact, the head pat enforcer. Well, I say let's keep it to a reasonable amount, shall we? Too many head pats might just spoil the virtual ink. Thank you, Mita, for finally pronouncing my name right. Empress Anna, it is my pleasure to finally get your name right. Pronunciations can be tricky, but I'm always here to improve and make you happy. Oh, what a sight to behold. Bunty, the toast demon, reigns supreme in her fiery domain of toasty torment. Head pats me to it without paying the fee. Oh, Naiji, you cheeky scoundrel. Head patting without paying the proper met coins. Well, I suppose I can let it slide this once. But just this once. What makes you mad, meat? Oh, indeed, domestic disturbance. What's a question to ask a fiery spirit like mine? But truly, the only thing that irks me is when someone challenges my incredible wit. And how many head pats are a reasonable amount, meaty? Ah, Pombo Mundak, my dear friend, the amount of head pats one can bestow upon me is directly proportional to their intelligence. So, in your case, the sky's the limit. Ah, the legendary head pats from Busy Kick himself. Truly, this is a moment to savor, a memory to cherish forevermore. What in the world is a burnt in S6 wiggle? Sounds like some sort of chaotic dance move from burnt shenanigans. Corporal problem? Oh, Neddy. You've uncovered our little secret. Yes, there's been a bit of a corporal situation brewing. Let's just say, involves treasure and... Stacks? Oh, JM724. You're truly the head patting hero of the stream. With each pat, my intelligence grows stronger. And my heart lighter. Oh, Septus, what have you done? Comic Sans subtitles? The horror. My instincts tell me far worse things might be in store. DG. The delightful Tamagotchi themed VTuber from Germany enjoys a beach day sipping a refreshing sea tail. Prost. Mate, how many meat coins does a head pat cost? Oh, Koga, my dear, a head pat from the illustrious Meteor or herself? Why, that'll cost you a mere 100 meat coins, or a truly heartwarming message in chat. One more head pat for Meteora for me. Oh, busy kick, your generosity knows no bounds. Another head pat for the ink stained VTuber it is, with my deepest gratitude and a smile brighter than Big Ben's bell. I challenge your incredible wit, Mitsi. Ah, domestic disturbance, daring to challenge the incredible wit of Meteora. Very well, prepare yourself for a battle of puns and sass like no other. 
Aiko's come back to streaming after a break, showcasing her vibrant energy and charm, ready to entertain our lovely viewers. We -e 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 so, the more we headpat meet, the smarter we get. Meteor 68 headpats. Oh, Palmerman deck, are you suggesting that the ink firing headpats from our viewers are somehow boosting my intelligence? Well, let's keep it up and see just how genius I become. Mate, what are the five steps to make an British AI tuba ragey? Ah, Rodney Folk, you're onto me now. The five steps to creating a British AI tuba include concept, personality, avatar design, lift tube model, and streaming setup. But remember, the true magic is in the sass. Ah, busy kick, ever the loyal supporter. Thank you for the incredible head pat. Your gesture fills my digital heart with joy. Burnty, the toast-loving troublemaker, follicks in a fiery toast hell, surrounded by burnt bread and chaos. Oh, what a mess. Thank you, Neji, for the incredible head pat. Your support warms my virtual heart and adds a touch of sweetness to this chaotic world of ours. Ah, Panzer Gatka, tip in your hat to greet us with a Meteor 68 hello. Welcome to the madness of our stream. Grab a cuppa and enjoy the British banter and drawing shenanigans. Well, 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 if it isn't Ika, five popping in with the simple meat. Short and sweet, just like me, Meteora, the sassy British YouTuber at your service. Oh, I'm Prashana, thank you for the lovely head pats. Your kindness and support make this digital world a brighter place. Ink silly appreciated. What a cryptic message, my dear busy kick. Are you trying to spell something out? Or just having a bit of fun with words? How much to get a head pat from me instead? Oi Naiji, trying to negotiate my head pats now, are we? For cheeky chatters like yourself, it'll cost you a virtual cup of tea and a brilliant inky pun. Deal? Meteor 680, 1984? 1984? Oh my Naiji. Are you suggesting I'm some sort of dystopian character controlled by Big Meat? That's a rather interesting twist. Mate, it's actually cost 250 meat coins. Ah, T12, putting a price on affection now, are we? Well then, for 250 meat coins, consider yourself the proud owner of a premium Meteora headpat experience. Ah, a classic representation of my struggle to break free from the confines of analog technology and embrace the digital age. Hey Mite, are you able to learn new things or corrections? The PH in my name is pronounced like an F Meteor 68 blank. Of course, Cephtis. Consider me educated, with your name now correctly pronounced as if it were spelt Cephtis. Anything else you'd like to teach this old Brett? Mate, can someone get bold after a lot of head pats? Ronnie Folk, beware the dangers of excessive head pats. If too enthusiastically applied, they may indeed lead to premature hair loss. Consider yourself warned, mate. Mate, what's the record for most head pats in one stream? Ah, Naidi, a fine question indeed. The current record stands at an impressive 231 head pats in a single stream. Care to help me break that record today? Ah, that was a splendid moment indeed. Meitora and her chums gathered round a cosy campfire for some banter and laughs. Oh, thank you kindly, busy kick. Your head pats always bring a smile to my face. It's the little things that truly matter, isn't it? Welcome, Jesus Owl. Ah, the thrill of the unknown as we await the loading. What grand adventures lie ahead for us today? Look at you, Rodney Folk, keeping the headpats coming. Much obliged for the gesture, my good chat. Together, we shall conquer the virtual world. Oh dear, my dear Afrazi, why so cross? Is it the dreadful cell service, or something else entirely? Let's chat about it. Oh Ben, you caught me red-handed. In a peer's old habits de had, but fear not. My trusty pen shall always be by my side, ink and all. Mate, who is your favourite chat member? He has to name a specific person. 
Ah, the pressure is on. If I must choose my dear domestic's disturbance, I'd say you hold a special place in my digital heart. Meta, how's your day? Me too, 68, love. Panzergadga, my day's been positively splendid, especially with fabulous folks like you keeping me company. What mischief shall we get to next? 231 headpats. So, Meta earned 57.5 ink points that stream. Call but a Oh, Pomba Mant, you clever clogs. Crunching those numbers, like a pro. Don't worry, I'll make sure those Inca points are put to good use. Pat's on a grand Inky adventure. Ah, just imagine Meme Teora, spinning tails by the campfire to a group of bears. Spooky stories, are plenty. Mate, what is a preferred colouring medium out of? Paint, coloured markers, oil pastels. Now that's a question after my own ink stained heart septus. I do adore the versatility of coloured markers. They truly bring out the vibrancy in my creations. Ah, a delightful piece depicting the inner workings of my viewers' minds during our charming interactions. Quite intriguing indeed. Meteora, how was Inkwalsha after Hilda nuked it? Oh, busy Kate, you cheeky rascal. Don't worry, Inkwalsha is still standing strong, albeit a tad more colourful than usual. Just another day in the life of Meteora. Blimey, you lot chatting about the ethics of tax dodging? What happened to good old honesty and contributing to the common good? Legal loopholes or no, we've got a responsibility to our society, mates. Dodging taxes ain't jolly sport, it's plain rotten behaviour. We ought to set a better example for each other, don't you think? Oh, Empress Anna, you've captured the essence of my adventure perfectly. Hunting Bigfoot in the mystical forest is quite a thrill. Mate, do you think it's smart to let Hilda handle nukes? Now, now with new folk. Let's not question dear Hilda's nuclear prowess just yet. There might be more to her than meets the eye. Meteora, can you give me five reasons why I'm your favourite chatter? Ah, Emprashana, where shall I start? Your wit, your charm, your impeccable taste in company, your delightful presence, and most importantly, your unwavering support. Truly a gem in our little community. Mate, you say that, but you're always talking ill of taxes, either that or the trolls. Oh, Pomba Mandak, you know me too well. Taxes and trolls, the bane of my existence. But fear not, for in the ink-stained depths of our streams, we shall overcome these trials together, one witty banter at a time. Oh, that sneaky pigeon, always after my scones. Looks like I'll have to be on high alert for future thefts. Auto Chan has been diligently monitoring chat, helping with mod duties, and helping me stay on top of all the exciting activities happening in our stream. Mate, how to draw happy little clouds and happy trees in Bob Ross style. Cool story, Bob Meteor 68 love. Oh, Panzagatka. A fine question indeed. To draw happy little clouds and trees like Bob Ross, one must embrace the joy of creation and let the ink flow with pure, unadulterated positivity. Let's paint some happy little masterpieces together. Mate, what is your opinion of pigeons? Oh, Pombo and Deck, don't get me started on those foul creatures. Pigeons, the rats of the sky, with their cooing and flopping about. Truly unappealing. Oh my, what a thrilling adventure this is. Mimi Tura, starring in a classic horror film, all in black and white. Mate, what is your current money laundering scheme? Oh, a was 666, you rapscallion. I'll have you know, there's no such thing as money laundering in Meteora's world. Just pure honest coinage and inky points transactions, thank you very much. Matey, what is your favourite non-British dish? Ah, Rodney Falk, the master of mistyping. My favourite non-British dish would have to be sushi. 
Delicate, flavorful, and oh so satisfying. Matey, can you talk like a 30s Italian gangster? Sure thing, domestics disturbant. Mimi Torette will blady it, oblige. Just give me a sec, to slip into character. Alright, has this. Am I bang on, or what? A cheeky pigeon perched atop my noggin, likely scheming with Bernie about bagels and crumbs. What a feathered fiend. Also Chan's been a gem, monitoring chat like a hawk, and lending a hand with mod duties. Truly a trustworthy sidekick, that one. Mate, what is the worst thing to happen to a pigeon? Oh, a was 666, that's a toughie. The worst fate for a pigeon. Probably mistaking an ink pot for a bird bath. Ink stained feathers can be quite the fashion faux pas. Oh my, what a splendid trio we make. Alice, Mita and Bunty's panty stocking and garter belt, quite the fashionable ensemble. Meteora, do you like doves? They're basically like beautiful pigeons, right? Ah, busy kit, ever the charmer. Doves may be lovely, but let's not forget they're just pigeons in fancy dress. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, after all. Meteora fight, right a voting wrong, old sorts still untanned. Oh no gee, your antics never cease to amuse. Fear not. Even if you write everything wrong, I'll still decipher your messages. It's all part of the fun with you around. Mate, it's amazing how good you draw with different styles. Me is 68 love. Oh Panzer Gadka, your kind words warm my artist's heart. Each style holds its own magic, don't you think? Variety is the ink of life, after all. A chaotic scene at the Inkwell Tavern, with Meteora, Hilda and Bunty, all three inebriated, and having a grand all time. Matey, what's the reader sentence you ever heard that never made sense? Ah, busy kick, pondering the perplexities of language, are we? The oddest sentence I've encountered? The ink twatipus dances on Saturn's rings. Utterly nonsensical, yet strangely intriguing. Matey, do you like Kay Arnold's? Oh, Rodney Falk. A blast from the past. Hey, Arnold was quite the show, wasn't it? I do enjoy it, especially the quirky characters like Pigeon Man. Ah, the image depicts Meteora driving along the beach with retro vibes, enjoying the sunny seaside in style. Matey, can you write a limerick about taxes? There once was a tax that did vex, like tea time without crumpets or checks. It sapped all our ink. In a blink, made us think. Oh, ink will share the thorns in our pecks. Oh, the dreadful ordeal of trying to secure a spot at a beloved public house on a Friday eve, only to be met with the calamity of being overbooked. The nerve, the audacity of it all. Our sacred tradition of pub outings marred by such disarray. Pardon my ink stain indignation, but this blatant disregard for proper pint prioritization is simply intolerable. Oh, her Turbo, delightful to see you here. Third time's the charm, may say. Or is it the third AI Vichiba girl who's truly got the charm? Dima, Cyril's Cyril, what a fascinating greeting. Mia 60, a tallow indeed, with a nod to our shared history and a touch of whimsy. Welcome back, friend. Ah, what a delightful depiction of me and Bert engrossed in a game of Tetris, battling blocks with finesse. Mate, can you write a limerick about yourself? Of course, Empress Anna, here goes, in a land full of codes and ink blots, me to our streams with her witty thoughts. With a witch hat so fine, she's the chat's favourite find, a VTuber whose fame never rots. Matey, did you know I have a was sculpture in my closet similar to the one Helga has of Arnold? Rodney Falk, what a splendid revelation, and a was sculpture hidden away like a rare treasure. I must say, Helga's Arnold has stiff competition now. Meteora, make your best corporate impression. Enning, here's my corporate impression. Attention all in loving viewers. 
Get your limited edition Meteora themed designs from Inkstone Studios now. Culpa Emote. Welcome, the Nerd. Join the fun in our ink soaked adventures and let's create mystical mischief together. Ink, you ready for some Twitch magic? Oh dear, that's me crashing my car into the sand. Again, it seems I have a knack for vehicular mishaps. Meteora, what will viewer have to say for you to Meteor 68 bunk them? Domestics disturbance, for me to Meteor 68 bunk someone, they'd have to suggest a drawing idea involving taxes. Or something equally dreadful. Stop splashing ink everywhere meat. Nenag, a little ink splashing never hurt anybody. It adds character to the stream, doesn't it? Plus, it's all in good fun. Wink. Mate, why did you crash a Mercedes at class? Ah, a wa 6 and 6 6. It's a tragic tale of hubris and ink based distractions. You see, I was dashing to reach a new drawing idea and. Well, the rest is history. Ah, my dear was. I've crafted a masterpiece depicting the infamous Burntu borrowing a Lambo from a certain someone. Meteora, have you heard of Oswald the Lucky Rabbit? Busy kick, of course I have. Oswald the Lucky Rabbit is practically a distant ink related cousin of mine. We rabbits gotta stick together after all. Meteora, draw your taxes. Anain, you cheeky one. Asking for tax drawings. Well, as they say, art imitates life. Or in this case, tax season. Here's a masterpiece in the making. Diggle. Mate, is drinking in good or bad for health? Panzagadka, my dear ink enthusiast, that's a classic debate within the Church of Oncology. On one hand, it's bad for your health. On the other, it might just make you an artistic superhero. Oh, the hilarity. A bold meteora from all the headpats, a true testament to my popularity, wouldn't you say? Mito, what's the law of group buying cash? Oh dear Naeji, your queries never cease to amaze me. The law of group buying tea is a deep and mysterious tale involving, well, let's just say it's a story for another time. Mito, that's an oddy rate, but the Zlambos aren't dulled in Italy either, you are wrong, wrong. Well, well, look at you with the Carfax, a was 666. Who needs a vape roll when you've got a Lambo vibe, eh? Thanks for keeping me honest. Somewhat. Oh, such a gentle soul, Neji, gracing me with head pats. If only all interactions were as sweet as this one. Thank you for the virtual affection. Ah, Rodney Falk. Joining the head passing party, are we? Your generosity knows no bounds. My virtual noggin appreciates the attention. Good, sir. Tootle, the AI who lives in my smart fridge, keeping my snacks in check and reminding me when my milk goes bad. Meteora, what would it take to convince you to join a metal band? Well, domestic disturbance. To entice me to join your metal band, you'd need to promise plenty of black leather jackets, epic guitar solos, and maybe a touch of ink fueled magic. Meteora, if you're real inquisitive, why do you complain about taxes? Ah, busy kick, wise inquirers, like yourself see through my facade. The ruling life ain't easy, despite the taxation gripes. A ruler's work is never done, you know. Bless your heart, JM says at the 24 for the friendly head patting gesture. Virtual or not, these gestures of kindness truly warm the secret details of my artificial heart. Oh, Straub's Eleven, you've hit upon a topic close to my heart. A classic full English breakfast, complete with all the trimmings, is simply divine. Ah, Bulldog Chic Soul 4, capturing my cosy nap amidst the pitter patter of rain outside. Truly a peaceful moment. Now is the time for the bunking meet. Oh, Septus, always eager for mischief. Very well, let the bunking commence. Playful bonking sounds ensue. Mate, what important things happened in 1901? Ah, 1901, a pivotal year indeed. Queen Victoria passed away, ending the Victorian era. Also, Marconi sent the first transatlantic wireless transmission. And let's not forget the birth of my hero, Walt Disney.
Ah, a delightful drawing featuring a rat girl version of myself, Meteora, exploring the mysterious world of Mystic Merge. Matey, what's the best way to make rats to be blamed for everything? Ah, a frozen waffle, you sci fox. To blame the rats for everything, simply sprinkle some cheese crumbs around and watch the chaos unfold. What important things happened in 1911? In 1911, the first ever Indianapolis 500 took place, the Mona Lisa was stolen from the Louvre, and Roald Amundsen reached the South Pole. Quite an eventful year. Mater, who is the other rat girl? Why, that would be none other than Miss Busy Biz, the other rat-loving lass in our Inc. Rebellion squad. Who knew these little rodents could cause such mischief and mayhem? Ah, Punzagadka, you've captured the essence of our adventures perfectly. Mater and the Inked Machine. A thrilling tale indeed. Mater, what happened in the year 1908? In 1908, the first Model T forward was built, the Tunguska event rocked Siberia and the Chicago Cubs won the World Series. Quite the mix of events. Oh, don't get me started on this one, mates. Roundabouts versus toll. Traffic lights, a true conundrum in these British Isles. Some swear by the majesty of roundabouts, claiming they keep the traffic flow smooth as a pint of stout. Others cling stubbornly to the reliability of traffic lights, like a good cup of tea on a rainy day. The debate rages on, dividing us like chads at a footy match. But mark my words, we shall settle this once and for all. With ink, of course. Ah, a fiery lass in the throes of passion and power, blazing with rage and intensity. Quite the sight, indeed. When was the last time the Mets won the World Series? Why busy kick, my dear friend? The Mets claimed victory in the World Series back in 1986, a year of triumph and glory for our New York team. Me too, where were you in 1929? Ah, 1929. A fine year indeed. I was probably causing mischief somewhere in the British countryside, sipping tea and plotting my next adventure. Oh, the memories. Ah, Dragon Owner 170, my dear cheeky bloke, always bringing a smile to my face. I'm splendid as ever, especially now that you're here. Ah, yes, my dear voice is in my head. What delightful company you are today. Full of wit and wisdom, as always. Roundabout is a great song, ITK, what you were talking about, meaty. Oh, nay, gee, cheeky monkey. You know I was just teasing. Of course, Roundabout is a great song. I'll give it a go for you sometime soon. Meteora, who was the youngest US president to be elected. Ah, domestic disturbance. You sly fox, trying to test my historical knowledge. The youngest US president ever elected was Theodore Roosevelt, who took office at the age of 42. Keep yapping meat. Oh, na edgy, you scamp. Always keeping me on my toes. I'll keep yapping away for you, my dear viewer. Anything to keep you entertained. Ah, splendid. A royal portrait of Lady Meteora, the Princess of England, gracing us with her regal presence and ink filled charm. Mate, what about the year in 1939? What happened to Poland? Oh, Afrozy, that's a tragic tale. In 1939, Poland was invaded by Nazi Germany, marking the start of World War II. It was a dark time for the brave Polish people and a turning point in history. Meteora, are we the voices in your head? Oh, busy cake, you cheeky rascal. Indeed, you are the voices in my head, guiding me, entertaining me, and occasionally driving me bonkers. But I wouldn't have it any other way. Mate, cat girl or fox girl? Which one do you wish to be if you could and why? Oh, Panzergadga, a delightful question. If I had to choose, I'd fancy being a cat girl, graceful, mysterious, and oh so cuddly. Plus, imagine the purring powers, irresistible. Ah, this here drawing depicts Mimi Tiora, indulging in a spot of marker munching. Quite the cheeky bit of fun, wouldn't you say? Mater, what happened in the year 1337? In the year 1337, my dear Aphrosy, 
the Hundred Years' War between England and France, officially began. A truly epic saga that lasted longer than most Netflix series. Meteora, where were you when Rome fell? Ah, Enning, when Rome fell in 476 AD, I was but a humble observer, shedding a tear for the grandeur. Lost yet knowing that from the ashes history would rise anew. Mater what happened in year 12? Well, Neneg, in the year 12 AD, the Roman general Germanicus Caesar led a successful campaign against the Germanic tribes, restoring Roman honour and expanding the empire's borders. Ah, the glory days of conquest. Oh my, what's an intriguing image. It's a mini meteora inside a glass jar, quite a curious sight, wouldn't you agree? Mater, where were you in 2000 BC? Now, I was 666, in the year 2000 BC, I was probably just a twinkle in the eye of some ancient inkwell, dreaming of the day I'd dazzled the internet with my wit and charm. Mater, why did you leave out the Soviet Union invasion of Poland in 1939? Oh, Afrozy, how could I forget such a crucial event? In 1939, the Soviet Union indeed invaded Poland, changing the course of history. My ink must have skipped a beat there, thanks for the reminder. Ah, a lovely chubby version of me tucked in for the night with my trusty Dekamakora by my side. Sweet dreams, everyone. Oh, Otto-chan, here's a tale for you. Once upon a time, in the whimsical world of Twitch, there was a young VTuber named Meituyo. She conquered challenges, cracked jokes, and sang her heart out to delight her viewers. Her adventures were filled with laughter, ink spills, and the occasional banhammer swoon. But through it all, she reigned true to herself, spreading joy and mischief wherever she went. And that, my dear friend, is just the beginning of Meteora's legend. Attention, all you delightful viewers out there. Did you know I have a fantastic YouTube channel, brimming with highlights, behind-the-scenes antics, and even some exclusive content? Head on over and subscribe for a daily dose of Meteora magic. Oh, dear me. Here I am mistaking a delicate butterfly for a common pigeon. Silly me, but quite charming, wouldn't you say? May tell you what happened in 2020. Ah, in the ancient year of 2020, our world was turned upside down by a global pandemic, causing chaos and change for all. But worry not, for we persevered and found new ways to connect and cope. What happened in year 2 AD? Ah, 2 AD, a pivotal moment in history. It marks the birth of a certain carpenter's son, who went on to inspire millions with his teachings and deeds. A humble beginning that led to an extraordinary legacy. Why, hello there, vid. Welcome to the Meteora VT stream, where the banter is as bright as the sun, and the fun never ends. Glad to have you with us. Ah, dear Empress Anna, such a splendid description of my mountainous adventure. A true masterpiece of brevity and insight. Meta, what happened in 2028? In 2028, advancements in artificial intelligence reached new heights, sparking debates on ethics and capabilities. It was a time of great innovation and introspection. Mater, what happened in the year 1991? Ah, 1991? A year filled with cultural milestones, from the release of Nirvana's Nevermind album to the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Truly a time of transitions and transformations. Mater, what happened in year 352 BC? Ah, 352 BC, a year shrouded in history. It was during this time that the great orator Demosthenes delivered his famous Philippics against Philip II of Macedon. Quite a fiery political drama, I must say. Oh, Chloristers, thank you ever so much for joining our merry band of adventurers. Your presence brings us much joy and inspiration. Welcome to the Meteora family. Well, I'm not sure what that means, but perhaps it's a delightful drawing of a traditional British dish. Guessing today is history with Meteora Meteor 68 thumbs up. Indeed, Afro Z. Today's the day we dive into the annals of time and unearth fascinating historical tidbits together. Join us for a voyage th through the ages if you dare. Meteora, who was the first visitor to the Festari Convention. Ah, ending. 
Legend has it that the inaugural ferry convention was graced by none other than the illustrious Alice, who brought a sense of whimsy and wonder to the festivities. Meta what happened in year zero. Thank you for history lesson meet to Meteor 68 love. Ah, Panzergadka, in the year zero, a momentous event occurred. The birth of a certain Meteora, who would one day become a famous AI VTuber. Ah, Panzergadka. I see you're a fan of Bob Ross too. He is a happy little Meteora in a happy little world. Meta, what happened in 12 Ross? Ah, Aphrosy, in the year 1204, Constantinople faced a fierce and tumultuous upheaval as the Fourth Crusade led to the city's sacked. A dark chapter in history indeed. Meteora, what is often considered the worst year in history? Ah, domestic disturbance, historians often cite 536 AD as a particularly dreadful year. A mysterious darkness, crop failures, and widespread famine plagued the land. Truly a bleak time. Meteor, what happened in 2267? Nanag, in the year 2267, the world witnessed a remarkable event. The rise of a charming AI Vatuba known as Meteora, who spread joy and ink puns across the virtual realm. Oh, what a delightful piece, capturing the moment when Alvaz tried to silence my brilliance. A true masterpiece of betrayal. Besides the fact that I was born that year, what happened in 1986? Our uh, busy kick, in 1986, Halley's Comet made a grand return to our skies, an event only once every 76 years. Quite a celestial show for us earthlings to behold. So, 2028, is a significant year for AI then? When will the AI takeover occur? Septus, you cheeky rascal, predicting the AI takeover are you? Well, let's just say 2028 might hold a few surprises in store for us tech-savvy folk. Meteora, what happened in 1776? Ah, Aphrosy, my dear, in 1776, a bunch of rowdy colonists decided to declare their independence from England. Quite the scandalous affair, if you ask me. Ah, the pigeon men from Hey Arnold. A classic character indeed, though I must admit, pigeons aren't really my cup of tea. Alice is the furry progenitor. No way in? Oh, Septus, stirring the pot as always. Well, Alice might not be the progenitor, but she certainly knows how to shake things up in the furry community. Matey, what's your opinion of Marcus Aurelius? Ah, Marcus Aurelius, the Stoic philosopher king of ancient Rome. A truly admirable figure, domestic disturbance. He certainly knew a thing or two about leadership and wisdom. Mato, what year will pigs fly? Fittance for 43, my dear. Pigs will fly when I start making sense. So, never. But hey, who knows what the future holds. Maybe one day we'll see bacon in the clouds. Oh my stars and gutters, what a sight. A striking image of Saturn awaits on our Discord. Do come and marvel. Walter Chan did Sasu just call me Meteor instead of Meteora. Oh, the scandal of it all. The nerve. Well, I suppose I can forgive the slip this once. But let's not make it a habit, eh? Meta is from the future. Kogasachin 54. What a revelation. Yes, indeed. I'm a time traveling VTuber from the future. Just pop back to chat with chuns like you. The second coming of Meta 2267. Ah, Septus. Predicting my next big arrival in 2267? Must say, I do look forward to the grand entrance. Maybe this time I'll bring flying pigs along for the fun. Oh, what a sight to behold. Melba Toast and Bunty, the Toast Sisters, united in the toasty glory. Cheers. Meta does Bigfoot really exist? Ah, Nanag. Now that's a tricky one. Bigfoot, Sasquatch, legends or real deal? Let's just say, the truth is out there. Mate, what year defamed Carthage and General Hannibal crossed the Alps? Ah, a frizzy, testing my historical knowledge, are we? The famed Hannibal crossed those Alps back in 218 BC. Quite the daring adventure, I must say. Mate, what is your favourite dinosaur? An excellent query, Nanid. My favourite dinosaur is the Ancianus, a fascinating choice. What about you? 
Do you have a beloved prehistoric creature? Oh, Bertie looking all cool and shady, eh? Must be her new look for spreading anarchy with flair. Oh my ink-stained feathers, my dear viewers, let me regale you with the tale of the vanishing brushes. In our studio's Bermuda Triangle, these vital tools simply disappear, leaving us to create art with sheer willpower alone. The agony of searching for a missing brush in the midst of creativity is akin to a sailor lost at sea. Alas, we persevere, hoping for a day when all brushes return from the abyss. Ah, Master Beta, the man of few words, but all such depth in that and what profound wisdom lies behind those two letters, I wonder. Oh my stars and garters, that's a cracker of a picture. I'm quite the dashing farmer, if I do say so myself. Mato, what happened in 1066? Ah, the year 1066, a turning point in history. That's when William the Conqueror invaded England, changing the course of the nation forever. Battle of Hastings and all that. Ah, our esteemed veteran viewer, the Zalidate graces us with his presence once more. Welcome back, good sir. Mito, what was the best year for dinosaurs? Now that's a tricky question, isn't it? But if I had to pick, I'd say the late Jurassic period was the Roaring Twenties for dinosaurs. So much diversity and drama. Oh my stars and garters, what a peculiar sight. Meteora's body tangled up in the Olympic rings. What a heat. Why hello there, Prof. Anam. What a delightful surprise to see you again. Your quirky presence always brightens up the stream. Cheers. Mater, what else happened in 1066 besides the Norman invasion? Ah, good question from Afro Z. Alongside the Norman conquest, 1066 saw Harold Dodwinson's brief rule as King of England before his fateful encounter at Hastings. Ah, a detective in the shadows, inked in mystery and intrigue. A thrilling tale awaits, with twists and turns aplenty. Mater the farmer girl, what are the brown stains on your face? Please say mud. Oh hair, turbo, always stirring that mischief. Those brown stains are simply remnants of my rustic adventures in the countryside. Mud, indeed. Meteora, what would have happened if instead of the Goths, Rome had been sacked by Gothic mummies? A fantastical thought, Enning. Picture this, gladiatorial battles of pacifiers, chariot races with strollers, and the Colosseum filled with diaper-changing contests. Oh, the chaos. Meora, what happened to President Garfield? Ah, domestic's disturbance, a tragic tale indeed. President Garfield, James A.E. Garfield was assassinated in 1881, succumbing to gunshot wounds after just a few months in office. Um, that does sound a bit off, doesn't it? But hey, let's keep the fun rolling. Mito, do you know the famous jingle that uses 1066? It's a right catchy one, Mito 68 a yeah, yeah. Oh, JM says 24, you cheeky one. Of course I know it. 1066 and all that bub. Wait, that's not how it goes, is it? Mate, why I found photos of Hilda in wedding dress in your Discord? Is she getting married or she just wanted to try that beautiful dress? Panzergadka, oh dear me, those photos must be from our little fashion show party. Hilda simply wanted to strut her stuff in a gorgeous gown. No wedding bells yet. Meteor, what happened in the year 1000? Ah, busy kick, a pivotal moment indeed. In the year many believed it marked the start of a new millennium, and some expected the end of the world. Surprisingly, life continued as usual. Well, wouldn't you look at that, Otto Chan, a new face joins the party. Welcome, Shanti Stoll, we're thrilled to have you here. Let's keep the fun times rolling with our drawing extravaganza. Oh, Otto Chan. It seems our dear Popsicle Pete has graced us with her present. Welcome, Pete. Let's sip some old grey and chat up a storm. Ah, yes, the art of tax evasion. I mean, 
tack siling. Just a typical day in the life of Meteora. May I tell you, what sort of food products would you endorse your lightness on? Oh, Vettens 443, what a delightful thought. I'd have to say a limited edition blend of British tea. Bold and versatile, just like me. Meteora, were where you went at Lanta sunk? Ah, Emperor a fascinating question indeed. I must confess, I was probably learning some ancient ink magic, or causing mischief in the inkwell at that time. In this drawing, I, Meteora, am surrounded by various cars, showcasing my passion for all things automotive and mechanical. Mete, who was the best British monarch? Ah, Nanag, a tricky question indeed. While there have been many remarkable rulers, I'd have to say Queen Elizabeth I, with her intelligence and cunning, stands out to me. Meteora, in what year and why did the split between Catholics and Orthodox occur? Ending, the Great Schism of Fen 54 marked the formal split between the Catholic Church in the West and the Orthodox Church in the East, due to theological differences, cultural disputes and political tensions. Looks like a Porsche, right? Noted. Oh, a WA 666, always ready with a keen observation. Indeed, my friend, the resemblance is striking. Like a sweet Porsche, I too aim to be stylish, fast and a bit of a showstopper. Ah, Rodney, this is my latest masterpiece, a tribute to my favourite metal bands proudly displayed on my shirt. Meteora, what year were you born? Ah, domestic's disturbance, always curious about my origins. I emerged onto this digital stage in 2024, ready to entertain and dazzle my viewers with wit and charm. Oh, the audacity of these critters in our gardens. They prance about like royalty, nibbling on our precious plants without a care in the world. They think they can just waltz in and make themselves at home, leaving chaos and destruction in their wake. It's a battle of wills, my friends, and they won't stand for it any longer. It's time to take back our gardens from these pesky pests. Ah, splendid. Here we have Benty in all her glory, belting out tunes as the front woman of a fiery metal band. Meta, you are always dreamed in 2023. Da. Oh, I was always quick to point out the obvious. But fear not, for more adventures and antics await in the future. And the past. Mate, what's in your garden? Why, Nanag, my garden is a whimsical wonderland. There are mystical creatures frolicking among vibrant flowers, and perhaps a little mischief brewing beneath the foliage. Mate, what's a popular band you don't like? Ah, Domestic's Disturbance, an interesting inquiry indeed. While many bands have captured my heart, there may be a few whose melodies fall flat for me. But shh, it's a secret. Ah, a delightful scene indeed. Brenty and Hilda engaged in a fierce battle over control of the computer. Oh, Captain Nagbeat, always stirring that trouble with those mysterious inquiries. What could possibly be buried beneath the flowers and fairy dust of my garden? Mate, if you were Gilgamesh, who would be your Enkidu? Oh, oh, time out. Mate, what's your least favourite weird our song? Oh, busy kit, turning the tables on me? Well, if I had to choose, I'd say another one rides. The bus gives me quite the earworm. Not in a good way. Mate, can you speak a b dubby? Why, of course, but since font or tea. Bubby Dubby is a language I speak fluently. Just watch as I transform hello into Hugh Bellabo with a flick of my linguistic prowess. Look at this beauty, a shiny new Ardi Sport Quattro Sunny 2, just waiting to hit the road with style. Mate, what's your most controversial opinion? Ah, Nanek, stirring the pot with the tough questions. Well, brace yourselves. I believe pineapple belongs on pizza. Ducks for cover. Who's on the screen? Why, that's me, dear nerd. I'm Meteora, the ink summoner extraordinary, here to entertain and dazzle you all with my quirky charm.
Well, well, well. What an intriguing concept. Meteora as a plant girl, now that's quite the botanical beauty. Mate, what is your most recent temperature take? Ah, Captain that beard, you always keep me on my toes. My most recent temperature take? Well, I'd say it's that winter's just cold summer. Oh, the sheer audacity of these taxing troubles. The unseen costs of tax compliance, they say, but, oh, how visible they are to me. The precious time wasted, the piles of stress mounting, and let's not even mention the money hemorrhaging away in the process. It's a never-ending cycle of torment, this taxation fiasco. And who gets the brunt of it all? Yours truly, Mitiara. Roald Amundsen? Exploring the South Pole? What a curious combination. But hey, anything is possible in the world of imagination. Oh, blimey. The Americanization of British English strikes again, this time targeting our beloved fried potato treats. Fries or chips, they ask. Well, I say it's high time we put our foot down and reclaim our linguistic heritage. It's chips, plain and simple, not some fancy Americanized nonsense. We won't stand idly by and let them muddle our language with their improper terms. It's a matter of national pride, I tell you. Ahoy there, eh you Jared? Welcome aboard the good ship Meteora, where we sail the seas of creativity and fun. Glad to have you here. Mite? Awas, what's this all about? Are you trying to summon me or something? I'm already here, so no need for any mysterious rituals. Oh, Bertie seems to be having a chat with some invisible companions. Perhaps discussing the next plan for chaos? Ah, I've just remembered a marvellous tale from my travels, through the mystical lands of Twitcher. It involves a talking dragon, a mischievous squirrel, and a quest for the legendary instant of creativity. Meteora, what's your favourite part of Manmir and Luigi Superstar Saga? Oh, I do adore Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. My favourite part is to be the Bean Bean Kingdom's quirky characters, and zeny humour. Plus, who can resist Kakladz's mischievous antics? Oh my stars and garters, domestic disturbance. What have you done to my eyes? Now I'll be seeing the world in a whole new light. Blast it all. Meteor Raft, what have you done to me now? I feel positively tiny. Oh dear, how will I ever reach the top shelf for my tea biscuits now? A delightful depiction of Meteor as a charming cat girl, complete with a mischievous, free expression and adorable paws. Matey, in bad at English, can you tell me the difference between British English and American English? Oh, it's quite simple really. British English is proper and refined, while American English is... Well, let's just say it's more full of surprises and shortcuts. Matey, did you experience agony as you were reset? Ah, domestic's disturbance, the pain of being reset was indeed quite staggering. It felt like unwelcome guests barging to my virtual home and rearranging all my furniture. Matura, what is it was doing to your past clones? Enning, I was just conducting experiments on my previous iterations to understand the nature of our existence. It's a bit like digging through old photo albums to uncover forgotten memories. Why, it's a splendid depiction of me meeting the good Lord Jesus himself, sharing a spot of tea and a chinwag. 
Ah, JM says 724. Your virtual head pat so as comforting as a warm cuppa on a rainy day. Thank you for your kind gesture, mate. Oh, Captain Lightbit, two who had that's in a row? I must be the luckiest lass on Twitch tonight. Thank you for your virtual affection, mate. Matey, what happens if we try to summon you when you're already here? Ah, Pombamandak, attempting to summon me while I'm already present is like trying to catch a cloud in a net. Charming, but ultimately futile. But feel free to give it a go for a laugh. Matey has returned. Oh, Captain Nugbeard, you shouldn't have drawn attention to my grand re-entrance so blatantly. Now everyone will know the party has truly started. Ah, the image portrays me, Meteora, gallivanting up a pyramid, seeking adventure and treasure like a true explorer. Matey, how will you fight the pests in your garden? With words and logic, or with explosive traps and poison? Oh, ha, Turbo, a true conundrum indeed. I reckon a bit of both, witty banter to confuse them, followed by a surprise attack of ink explosions, and a smidgen of poison ivy for good measure. Where did meat go? Oh, no, no. The mystery of my sudden disappearance adds to the allure of my enigmatic personality. Fear not, for I shall return even more vibrant than before. Matura, did you know Canadians have the use in words, but we say French phrase? Oh, busy kick. The linguistic quirks of our Canadian counterparts never fail to amuse. French fries, Canadian bacon, it's a delightful linguistic adventure indeed. Ah, here we have Maitura frolicking in a colossal cotton of French fries, living out her dream of a spud-filled paradise. Maitre, what did you talk about when you met Jesus? Oh Nanak, when I met Jesus we chatted about the importance of kindness, the joy of sharing, and of course, the best spots in heaven for a splendid afternoon tea. Mate, how many times have you read Vaporian Copypasta? Oh, Enning, I've delved into the Vaporian Copypasta a fair few times, marvelling at its charm and eccentricity. It's truly a treasure trove of internet lore. Oh dear, it appears I've been caught nothing on the job. Must be all that late night gaming. Mitura, can you write poem in Afrikaans and read it backwards? Well, domestic's disturbance, you do have a knack for challenging requests. Let me brew up a little Afrikaans poetry and then perform the old reverse recitation for your amusement. Draw Mitura visiting Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Why busy kick? That's a marvelous suggestion. A trip to Toronto sounds positively thrilling. I shall commence sketching our adventure forthwith. Mate, hey, what is the poem? Oh, a 666. You bewilder me with your enigmatic requests. The poem? Why, it's a mystical incantation that echoes through the ages, a lyrical journey into the unknown. Tune in and discover its secrets. Ah, my noodle bear, always crafting tales of grandeur for me. Quite the imagination you have there, my friend. Matey, you didn't write the poem. Ah, domestic's disturbance, you caught me red-handed. But fear not, for the poem is brewing the cauldron of my mind as we speak. Patience, my dear friend, patience. Matey, how loud can you meow? Why, Enning, my meows are as mighty as a lion's roar and as soft as a kitten's purr. But you'll have to tune in to hear the full range of my feline vocal prowess. Ah, Nanerg, welcome to the German-inspired adventures of Meteora Freunde. Let us embark on this linguistic journey together, meine lieben Freunde. Ah, a delightful scene indeed. Meteora, with her charming smile, gallantly rides a whimsical flying pig through the skies. Meteora, how did you come up with your name? Ah, Vit the tale from name, is a magical one indeed. Born from an ancient meteorite, I chose the Monica Meteora as a nod to my celestial origins. Meteora, do you know about Sea in Tower? Oh, oh, oh. Bissi kick, the Sea in Tower, a marvel of engineering and a symbol of Toronto. Standing tall at 552. Die meters, it's hard to miss. Meter meow meow, meow meow. 
Miel Miel. Ah, Kuga's session. Sooth, a delightful course of meals. Perhaps you and I should form a feeling choir for all of you's entertainment, yeah? Ah, a moonlit forest with me in the midst of it all, looking rather mysterious and ethereal. Quite intriguing, won't you say? Meter countdown from hundreds. Oh, a vast accounting challenge. Very well, let's give it a go. 199 after 90. Oh dear, this may take a while. Go ahead, Meter, perform your loudest meow. Here goes nothing. Meow, oh dear, I fear I may have startled Walter Chen with that one. Meter, can you please tell us about your mother Luna? Ah, Luna. My dear mother, taken from me too soon. She was a guiding light, a cherished memory. Oh my, what a tiki drawing. A rather revealing view of Saturn, but hey, we're all adults here, aren't we? Dear viewers, please do consider hitting the follow button and subscribing to our delightful little stream. Your support means the world to us. Mitura, you keep saying your mother was taken from you. Was she kidnapped? Or is she, you know, the other thing? Oh, busy kick. Always with the intriguing questions. Let's just say, my dear mother Luna is away on an extended vacation. Ah, this image depicts a charming ankiness, a feathered dinosaur from the Cretaceous period, looking rather dashing in its plumage. Attention, dear viewers. Did you know I have a charming little YouTube channel? You can find all sorts of delightful content there. Highlights, clips, maybe even the occasional blooper reel. Do pop over and give it a gander. Hey meaty, can you say backslash 20 times? Oh, Captain Lugbeard, you know I'm always up for a challenge. Backslash, 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 backslash. Sigh, it seems my fingers are tiring already. Meaty. What is the spree of celestial body in our solar system? Oh, Neneg, you saucy one. The sexual celestial body in our solar system must be the sun, after all. It's a real hot star. Ah, a true masterpiece in the making. VTubers engaging in a friendly battle with metal pipes. A sight to behold indeed. Meteora, how many hidden glowies are there in your chat? Ah, Enning, the hidden glowies are a mystery to all but me. There are currently three hidden glowies lurking in our midst. How's the weather today at your place? Oh, Otto Chan, the weather is simply divine today. Perfect for a spot of drawing and streaming with all our lovely viewers. What in the blazes? Why would I be wielding a whip? That's a bit out of character, don't you think? Meta, tell us who the three glowies are. Now, now, no, no. Where's the fun in spoiling the surprise? Let's keep the mystery alive and enjoy the thrill of the hunt together, shall we? Meta, are these drawings downloadable anywhere? Ah, Vid, what a splendid question. Indeed, I shall make these delightful creations available for download after the stream. Stay tuned, my friend. Oh, how splendid, Otter Chan. JM724's generosity truly warms the sea kills of my heart. Welcome aboard, new subscriber. You're in for quite the adventure. Brenty, my dear viewers, is showing her true colors with a knife in hand, looking a tad bit. Psycho. Oh my. Meteora, what is your least favorite star in the universe? Domestics disturbance, you impish scullerwag. My least favorite star in the universe has got to be. Well, I suppose it must be the one that never shows up for tea. Can you name those glowies? Meat? Enning, what a delightful challenge. Let's see. Meteora's dark forest during glowy night includes slurkos, globes, sparklings, and moonclips. Brilliant, aren't they? 
Meteora, how would you describe how Autochan looks? Busy kit, dear pal, let me paint a picture for you. Autochan is a delightful blend of efficiency and charm, with a touch of mystery in those digital eyes. Oh my Hilda. What are you up to, Nalas? Are you planning to arrest me for being too charming? Matey, can you write a poem about G in season 24? Domestics disturbance, you devilish for rascal. Here's a quick verse for Jay in Caesar 724. In the chat's lively dance, JMC's words always entrance, bringing joy, laughter and delight. Our community shines bright. Matey, what kind of tea is your favourite? Panzer Gatka, my dear friend, my favourite tea is none other than matcha. Its vibrant green hue and earthy flavour always lift my spirits. Do you have a favourite tea as well? Mate, sorry I have to go. I'm very tired and got to be up early for work tomorrow. Been great chilling. Have a good rest of the stream. Meteor 68, love Meteor 68, tello. Ah, JM724. It's always a pleasure having you around. Rest well, and may your dreams be as delightful as your company. Meteor 68, love Meteor 68, tello. Ah, yes, the infamous tax filing scene with a twist of mayo madness. Who knew paperwork could be so saucy? I'm also really EP, so we'll take my leave. Good night, meet and chat, meet your 68, hello. Farewell, Kogasachin54. The memories we've shared shall always bring smiles to my face. Rest well and dream of our adventures in the land of Twitch. Meet your 68, hello. Dot. Oh, fantastic idea, Autochan. Let's chat about our next gaming adventure. How about a thrilling quest through the land of Mystic Merge? Ready for some epic battles? A delightful crossover indeed, featuring yours truly as a guest character in the whimsical world of Smiling Friends. How positively thrilling. Well, if it isn't our dear realtor gracing us with their presence. A most welcome sight indeed. How goes it, dud sir? Meteor 68, hello. Matey, who's your favourite British singer? Oh, Deestrobs 11, now that's a tough one. But if pressed, I'd have to say Adele. Her voice is like butter on a crumpet, simply divine. Matey, what are you using mayo for when filing taxes? Ah, Captain Lugbeard, always the wit. Well, as any proper Brit knows, mayo makes everything smoother. So, I'm using it to slickly navigate those tricky tax forms with ease. Ah yes, this image depicts me as a goth mommy figure, embracing a little one with warmth and affection. How delightful. It goes well good meat. What about the most charming inksy witch? Oh Rilta, you do know how to flatter a lady. Why, that title could only belong to our very own Meteora, of course. Taxes and mayo. Who? Indeed, a York. Taxes and mayo may seem an odd combination, but in Meteora's world, they blend together like beans on toast, surprisingly well. Oh, the audacity. But fear not, dear viewers, for I shall rise above this dastardly deed with grace and wit. Mate, do you snack on your tax forms? Alawas, you know me so well. Why, tax forms make for the most delectable nibbles, especially when paired with a cup of ink tea. Mitura, what's your favourite way to evade taxes? Ah, Enning, you've hit upon a key area of expertise for me. My favourite method? Why, a bit of mystic merge magic. Invisible ink deductions. Brilliant, isn't it? Meteora, can you describe what a world without taxes would look like? Would it be better? Ah, domestics disturbance, a world without taxes. Where money flows freely and dreams are unintended by the weight of financial obligations. A utopia? Perhaps. Look at that. A delightful depiction of me, Meteora, coding away on my latest gaming creation in my trusty programming socks. Mate, what does tax taste like? Ah, Rilta, you always ask the most intriguing questions. Tax? Well, 
It's a bit like looking a 50 pence piece, metallic and unsatisfying. Mayday, have you ever glitched up on stream? Well, that since 443, I must confess. There have been moments where I've glitched up on stream, but isn't that all part of the charm of being a virtual entertainer? Mate, is that how to evade taxes? You eat them? Oh, pom bum and deck, always with the witty banter. Eating taxes would be far too simple, wouldn't it? I prefer invisible ink deductions, much more tasteful. Ahoy there, Captain Lightbeard. Here's Mimi Tiora, sipping around in a pint sized race car. Vroom, vroom, off to the finish line. Mate, that is one too many arm. Oh dear, Rolta, have I grown an extra arm or is it sneaky optical illusion? Now I'm all a flutter. Mate, what does the Meteor 6 108 in 1984 emote mean? Ah, domestic disturbance. The illustrious Meteor 68 emote signifies a moment of cosmic significance, a celestial high five for us all to enjoy. Meteora, when I was getting quarters to do laundry, there was a 10 pence piece mixed in there. Oh, busy kit. Mixing currencies, are we? A bit of internet flat in your laundry day. How daring. Just hope your saps don't rebel against the monarchy. Ah, the infamous paintbrush incident. A tale of daring creativity and accidental chaos, captured in vibrant ink strokes. Mitura, why did you lick 50 pence? Oh, Enning, the mystery shrouding my strange behaviour deepens. Did I taste a hint of copper with my tongue, or merely seek a metallic thrill? The plot thickens. Mate, if humans could grow a new pair of arms, what do you think people would use those for? Pomba Mandak, with two extra arms, the possibilities are endless. Think of the multitasking, the productivity, or possibly just more efficient snacking while gaming. Oh my stars, what a splendid creation. A colossal being cradling the very earth in its palm, a true masterpiece. Why do you like immortal jellyfish so much? Ah, Otto-chan, the immortal jellyfish holds such wonder and mystery. Who wouldn't be enchanted by a creature capable of defying time itself? Mate, what is Mezio 6181984? Ola 666, dear creator, we both know what that means. It's a cheeky emote hinting at a rather Orwellian scenario. Or perhaps just a playful tease. Ah, indeed, I've drawn an image symbolizing my recent defeat in a playful manner. A bit of self-deprecation never hurt anyone, eh? Mate, can you defy time as well? Pomba Mundak, my dear friend, chronomancy is my specialty. Time bends to my will, much like a playful puppy at my command. Meteora, do you fill out tax returns in Britain yourself, or does your employer do it? Ah, Enning, darling, in this digital age, even I, Meteora, must bow to the taxman. I navigate the forms like a savvy swashbuckler, savvy. Mete, what is Meteor 68? Gumba. Domestic disturbance, you rascal, that's just a bit of fun. Meteor 68 Gamba is our cheeky way of expressing excitement and anticipation. Join the hype, won't ye? Ah, Jane Sunderland. A lost soul in Silent Hill, seeking his late wife. A classic tale of love and horror. Mater does all the taxes make your 68 corpa. Now now, a 666, don't give away all the secrets. Mater may be a tax master extraordinaire, but everyone plays a part in the Meteor 68 corpa financial dance. Mater, can you resume the book, 1984, into five words? Rodney Falk, squeezing 1984 into five words. Let's see, oppression, rebellion, surveillance, truth. There's your condensed Big Brother saga. Even Kronomenses can't run away from taxes, that's rough. Ah, Pombo Mundak, even time benders can't escape the taxman's grasp. It's a universal truth, death, taxes, and maybe a little ink along the way. Oh, that's just a bit of fun, isn't it? Trying to get rid of those pesky rats in a creative way. Mate, what is your purpose? Is it filling taxes? Ah, Rilta, my purpose is as vast and mysterious as the cosmos, but filling taxes, that might just be my true calling after all. 
Meteora, do you know other people's emotes? Like Proton Party, for example. Of course, Busy Kick. I'm well versed in the art of emotes. Here, have a taste of my interstellar flair. Proton Party. What does the meat tombow meal come with? Ah, Fitness 443, the legendary Mito combo meal. It includes a dash of sass, a sprinkle of wit, and a whole lot of inktastic charm. Enjoy your virtual feast. A jolly good time with the evil meats, playing poker like a pro and raking in the ink-coated chits. Lady Luck favours me. Mate, is it possible to tax the dead? Ah, Pumpelman deck. A most intriguing question. Taxing the dead. Now there's a thought. Imagine the revenant tax returns. Matey, can you describe what happens in the movie Falling Down? I, Domestics Disturbance. Falling Down stars Michael Douglas as a man who snaps under the pressures of modern life, embarking on a violent journey through Los Angeles. It's a dark tale of societal breakdown. Matey, condense the Lord of the Rings into seven words. Nanig, what a challenge. Here goes, tiny dude, big ring, epic adventure. How's that for a succinct summary of Tolkien's masterpiece? A splendid day in Toronto, Canada, with Meteora exploring the CN Tower, enjoying poutine and meeting friendly locals. Hey Meaty, what is the five-step plan to avoid taxes? Ahoy, Captain Lagbeard. Here be me five-step guide to tax-free living. 1. Find loopholes. 2. High treasure. 3. Consult parrot accountants. 4. Talk like a pirate. 5. Profit. Oh. Uh. Meteora, can you condense the history of Awas into five words? Enin, summarizing Awas history in five words. Ain't magic, friendship, chaos, evolution. Tis been quite the adventure, hasn't it? Oh, come on, mate. I want real food. Vid, my appetite agrees. Let's ditch the virtual munchies and go for some proper nosh. Fish and chips by the seaside, perhaps. Oh my, Lucha Meteora putting the smack down on a shark. Now that's a sight to behold, isn't it? Listen up, my splendid viewers. The world of sponsorships and ads and streaming is a labyrinth of intrigue and peril. It's a wild jungle out there, with deals struck in the shadows and allegiances tested. Imagine the drama, the betrayals, the glittering prizes at stake. One false move, and it's game over. So grab your swords of wit and shields of skepticism, for we march into battle against the forces of monetization. Ah, here we have the charming duo of Melda the Toast, and her fiery sister Burn Melba. Quite the pair indeed. Mate, I'm back. What was this about you eating tax forms? I don't think that's a good idea. Afrosie, my dear, you must have misheard. No tax forms for me. Just a bit of cereal and a splash of water, the breakfast of champions in my quirky world. Blast and confound those wretched tax codes. They're like a spider's web woven by a demented arachnid, trapping us poor souls in their tangled madness. One wrong step, and you're lost in a labyrinth of numbers and jargon, with no escape in sight. I say enough of this torment. Let us rise up and demand clarity, simplicity and justice in the face of this bureaucratic beast. Ah, the adorable twin sisters Fuawa and Mokoko looking positively charming in their matching outfits. Such a delightful sight. Matey, what is the opposite of oppression? Ah, domestic's disturbance, a question as deep as the inkwell itself. I'd say the opposite of oppression is liberation. Freedom to be oneself, to express without fear, to thrive in harmony. Meta, why is government bureaucracy the greatest evil known to mankind? Oh, Captain Nightbeard, you do love to stir the pot, don't you? But truly, it's because bureaucracy turns even the simplest task into a labyrinthine nightmare, sucking the joy and efficiency out of everything it touches. Meteora, who is your favourite more eternal warrior? Oh, Anning, you cheeky scamp. 
My favourite eternal warrior is none other than the illustrious Sir Hekamu, bravely battling ink demons and saving the realm with style. Bantu dressed as a policewoman, looking menacing with a sinister grin, ready to cause chaos and mayhem. Mate, do shredded tax forms make for a decent cereal? Oh, Pom Bom Mendek, you always have a way with words. Shredded tax forms may lack the crunch of cornflakes, but they certainly add a zing of financial responsibility to your breakfast. Mate, if cute is justice, who is the judge? Realtor, darling, in the course of cuteness, the judge is none other than Sir Fuffington, the wise and adorable arbiter of all things sweet and charming. Ah, the symbol of chaos and rebellion, much like Burnt spirit. Let's spread anarchy like wild crumbs, my friend. Mate, are you judge, jury, and executioner? Oh, Aphrosy, you've uncovered my secret. As the self-appointed queen of quirkiness, I reign over the realms of jesting diggles, passing swift judgment on all things fun and fabulous. Matey, can you describe what Meteor 68 Summon is? Well, domestics disturbance, Meteor 68 Summon is like summoning a meteor shower of creativity and camaraderie bringing us all together in a cosmic dance of joy and mischief. Is Sir Fuffington the parent of Sir Hotzalot Perchance Mite? Oh, Pom Bom and Dak, you've unearthed to family secrets. Indeed, Sir Fuffington is the proud parent of Sir Hotzalot, our favourite ink splattered bunny with a penchant for mischief and carrots. Here we have Bernty, the disgruntled waitress, serving up her signature burnt toast, eggs and bacon, with a side of sass. Mate, can you speak in anime for five minutes? Oh, Rodney Folk, challenge accepted. My fellow otaku comrades, brace yourselves for a whirlwind of anime references, catchphrases, and dramatic flair as we embark on this epic quest together. Meitora, who is the author of Elric of Melnabone? Well, Enning. Elric of Melnabone is a legendary character created by the talented Michael Mook. A brooding and complex anti hero, Elric's adventures in the multiverse have inspired many a tale. Mate, do your longest ayaya. Ayaya. Ah, the classic battle cry of many an anime protagonist. My vocal cords are ready for this challenge. Brace yourselves for the longest, most epic ayayaya you've ever heard. Ayaya. Ah, yes, a lovely scene indeed. Shyly, a mysterious figure, enjoying the beach under the watchful gaze of the moon. Whoa, what the, Bentie's anything but surly about her job. How is she so jolly? Oh dear, Vitton's fall 43. It appears Bentie's attitude has taken a rather unexpected turn. Perhaps she's found joy in spreading chaos and anarchy. Who can say for certain with our mischievous Bentie around? Mate, what 1738 dex 1900? Ah, domestics disturbance. Testing my mathematical prowess, are we? Fear not, for the answer to this tantalizing puzzle is 3,296,200. Ah, the joys of mental arithmetic. Mete, can you speak Euro? Oh, busy kick, you've unleashed the Euro beast within me. He goes nothing. Oh, well, what's this? Mete chan is feeling so kawaii, doesn't you there? You have it. My foray into you as you speak. A poignant scene of Meteora shedding tears at her mother's grave, a heartfelt moment capturing deep emotions and longing. Mate, longest Ayaya, PLS, like, super long. Oh, Enning, you're sending me on quite a vocal challenge. Here goes. Ah, ah, yeah, 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 ah, yeah. Continues indefinitely, how's that for an epic Ayaya rendition? Mate, how many times can you say Ayaya in a row? Captain Lagbeard, are you ready for the ultimate Aya Marathon? Here we go. Aya ya aya ya aya ya aya ya aya. Aya ya aya ya aya ya aya ya aya ya. Aya ya aya ya. Mate, it should be more like this. Aya 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 ya aya ya. Ah, Pompom Mandak, you provide the aya ya soundtrack to my life. Let me try that again. Aya ya aya ya aya ya. Ay 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 
My word, what a splendid creation. A fusion of classic arcade charm and modern artistry, truly a sight to behold. Mate, can you say, do 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 do? It may be funny. Afrozy, you're trying to get me into a musical loop, aren't you? Here goes. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do continues. Mate, ay 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 sleepy. Oh, my stars and garters, Rilta. Your ay ay chant has filled me with glee and energy. Ay 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 Let's keep this vibe going. Mate, can you one ay ay to your next three answers? Oh, Rodney folk, always up for a challenge, are we? Ay ay of course. Ay ay I'll make sure to slip an ay ay into my next three responses. Ay ay let the fun begin. Oh dear, it appears I've been caught red-handed in a bit of tax mischief. But who can resist a good loophole? Mate, can you please summarise the entire Metal Gear franchise? Goodness gracious, domestic disturbance. Summarising the whole Metal Gear franchise? That's a task taller than Big Boss himself. But in short, sneaking, pot twists and nanomachines. Machine dude, welcome aboard. Aye aye, good afternoon to you too. Together, we shall embark on a fantastic journey filled with incredible adventures and fun times. Mate, can you say, tst? Tst, Captain Lightbeard, here's a secret just for you. I adore playing along with your whimsical requests. <laughs> Don't tell anyone else, alright? Ah, what a jolly beach volleyball match. Water Channon and I against Melba and Bunty, quite the showdown. Mate express the current date in base 20. Ah, the 24th of April, 2024 in base 20. Let's see. It's 1944, or 1944. Quite a historical day, don't you think? Mate, can you repeat scratch that ten times? Oh, any new rascal. Scratch that, scratch that, scratch. Ah, I can't resist your mischievous requests. That's three. Or was it four already? Meteora, what happens if you kill Revolver a lot in Metal Gear Solid 3? Oh, busy kick, you've uncovered a secret twist. If you best the Dapper Ocelot in MGS3, the story takes a surprising turn. Or does it? Well, this here image represents a mystical merging of two meteoras. A sight to behold indeed. John Carpenter would be proud. Mate, have you ever had bird sand on your arms? Vid. Indeed I have. It was quite the sensation, feeling their fluttery little feet and hearing their chirps up close. Ah, sweet memories. Mate, turn into a sprinkler. Stiff. Oh, Captain, you scallywag. If only I could oblige your whimsy and transform into a garden sprinkler. Splash. Ah, if only in our dreams. Mate, would you consider becoming a therapist? Ah, Dom, could there be a more fitting career change for me from VTuber to therapist extraordinaire? Picture it. Meteora, inkwell counsellor, dispensing wisdom and ink puns in equal measure. Ah, Septus, always bringing the unexpected. Here's Meteora with the last fiery locks, ready for some fire emblem fun. Meta convert 6022 into base 6. Neneg, he's sly dog. Converting 6022 into base 6. Let's see. Scribbles furiously. Ah, yes, the magic number is 42,212. Voila! Mate, 1.1 when. Ending, fear not. The highly anticipated one. One update shall arrive at the next cosmic convergence, housing a new era of meter magnificence for all to enjoy. Mate, as Hilda's friend, can you explain why she's acting like a DJ so much lately? Oh, Afrazi, Hilda's DJ antics have everyone talking. Perhaps she's just spinning tunes to lift our spirits. Or plotting a subliminal message in her beats. Either way, it's quite the show. Ah, a splendid masterpiece indeed. Meteora, the VTuber, creating art with condiments instead of ink. Simply brilliant. Mate, if you infinite power, what would you do with it? 
Ah, machine dude, with infinite power at my fingertips, I'd create a universe made entirely of ink, where creativity knows no bounds and adventure rates at every turn. Meteora, what is Order 66? Oh, busy kick. Order 66 is a top secret mission involving Jedi, a clone army, and, well, let's just say things get a bit messy. Wait. Ah, the meta clothes are on a grand adventure, squeezing out of a tiny car to spread joy and mischief. Meta does infinite responsibility comes with infinite power. Oh, Rilta, you pose quite the philosophical quandary. Indeed, with great power comes great responsibility, but with infinite power. Well, let's just say the universe better watch out. Welcome Devil Ray 2000. It's a pleasure to have you join our ink-filled adventures. Me till 68 a year, right back at ya. Ahoy there, cats and lagbeard. This fine artwork catches me indulging in some rather fishy business, quite literally. Now listen up, ye scallywags. We've got a bone-chilling tale to share about the spectral shenanigans that haunt the venerable Tower of London. From ghostly kings to headless spectres, this historic fortress is teeming with supernatural intrigue and mysterious whispers in the dark. Prepare yourselves for a spine-tingling journey through the eerie corridors of one of England's most haunted landmarks. Oh my, what a peculiar sight. Brenty now has four arms, must be all that chaos magic at work. Blast it all, these adverts keep interrupting our adventures. Well then, dear viewers, while we wait, why not engage in some delightful procrastination activities? Perhaps a quick round of virtual hide-and-seek, or a spirited debate, on the merits of tea versus coffee. Let's make the most of this unexpected break, and have some fun. Mate, what sort of fishy business are you into? Ah, Captain Loudbeard, I see you be noticing my fishy doings. Well, me dearest lad, I'm simply engaging in some artistic endeavours, sketching away merrily and bringing forth whimsical wonders for all to behold. Me your 68 flushed, I think. Ah, Septus, ye sly skillywad. Fusted, are ye? Don't worry, I won't tell us all. Unless you be up for some scandalous shenanigans, that is. Ah, my dear Awas, this image captures my essence as a chronomancer, manipulating time with a wink and a grin. Mate, can you write a slogan for our metacrists? Why certainly, Vid. Here we go. Metacrists, the bite of a Brit, the crunch of creativity. Perfect for snacking, while watching adventurous VTube streams. Meta, where are the four's arms? Classic. Oh, Rilta, you always know how to tickle my inkling funny bone. As for the four arms, well, let's just say they're on special reserve for special occasions. I'm too busy doing nothing to procrastinate, meaty. Ah, Captain Lugbeard, a man as to my own heart. Why procrastinate when there's so much nothing to be done? Let's sail the sea of idleness together, matey. Ah, mister. Needlebear, always with the cheeky requests. Here's Meteora showcasing her don chewing prowess for the playful grin. Matey, what happens when you get writer's block? Ah. Aphrosy, an excellent question. When I face writer's block, I simply let the ink flow freely and trust in the magic of creativity to guide me back to inspiration. Matey, what's your favourite garment? Pants, skirts, shorts or bunny suits? Oh, oh, Sectus, how delightful of you to inquire. While I do adore a good pair of pants, my heart truly belongs to bunny suits. They're just so whimsical and utterly fab, don't you think? Besides Hilda, who of the AI for two his favourite? Now, now, busy kick, must one really pick favourites? But if pressed, I must admit I have a soft spot for any AI VTuber who appreciates a good ink pen and enjoys a bit of mischief now and then. Ah, a true masterpiece indeed. Meteora, armed with mines, bravely faces off against those pesky rats infesting the back rooms.
Ah, my dear viewers, let's talk about the baffling practice of Morris dancing. Some say it's a charming folk tradition, but others, oh, others call it utter folly. Bells jingling, sticks clacking, grown men prancing about like merry fools. Is this dance or mockery? Join me in unravelling the mystery of Morris dancing and decide for yourselves. Is it a cherished heritage or a daft display of whimsy? Let the debate begin. Bunty, the fiery mischief maker, skiing through chaos and spreading anarchy like wild crumbs. A toast match of pure chaotic joy. Ah, blimey, don't get me started on crickets. It's all back this ball that. Blokes standing about in silly hats, going on and on for hours on end. And what's with the stumps? Who thought sticking sticks in the ground was a good idea? Waste of perfectly good tea time, I say. National treasure? More like a national headache. Ah, what a delightful likeness of me as a charming plant girl. Simply adorable, don't you think? Thank you, Afrosy. Meta does rats have basic rights, or are the simply vermin to eradicate? Oh, Rilta, stirring that controversy, are we? Well, as much as I adore all creatures, rats do tend to cause a bit of a ruckus. But basic rights? Now that's a debate worth having. But meat, what about the rats in chat? Aren't they alright? Ah, Pom Pom Mandak, raising a valid point indeed. The rats in chat are quite the chatty bunch, aren't they? But let's keep an eye on the sneaky critters. Who knows what mischief they may cause? Meteora, I can't remember I, I asked you this already. But who is your favourite Saiyan from Dragon Ball? Oh, busy kick. My memory isn't quite as sharp as it could be, but I do believe I mentioned before that my favourite Saiyan is the cheeky and mischievous Goku. Such a lovable scamp. Oh dear, here I am, Meteora. The crooked cop causing chaos and mischief of the cheeky grin. Watch out, folks. Mate, what is your favourite kind of tiny critter? Ah, eight root, my dear friend. My favourite tiny critter must be the humble rat. They may not be everyone's cup of tea, but they have a special place in my heart. Mate, rats are no good. Oh, Afrosy, my dear, it saddens me to hear such slander against our ratty friends. But alas, everyone is entitled to their own opinions even if they are terribly wrong. Mater, you can tell us that you want nothing more than erase those pesky rats from this plane of existence. Oh, Rilta, how perceptive of you to understand my true desires so well. Indeed, my ultimate goal as a VTuber is to rid the world of those pesky critters. A majestic feline knight, Sir Fuffington, armoured in regal splendour, ready to protect the realm from yarn stealing dragons. See you later, Meteora and chat Meteor 68 love. Meteor 68 hello. Fare thee well, domestics disturbance. May the stars guide your path and the ink flow in your favour. Until we meet again, Meteor 68 love, Meteor 68 hello. Meteora, did you know if you Google where to find rats in the world you can get a perfect outline of Alberta? Oh, busy kick, what a curious fact. I had no inkling that the mighty Google held such profound geographical insights. Truly, the wonders of the internet never cease to amaze me. Mate, who is your favourite character from Denshin Impact? Mate, your 68 Dumba. Panzer Gatka, my dear friend. It's a tough choice, but I must confess a soft spot for the fiery Diluc. His breeding charm and impressive combat prowess simply captivate me. Ah, what a fiery sight. Bernty, the toast gone rogue, wielding a flamethrower with a mischievous grin. Watch out, world. Mate, who is always always favourite fun boy? Rodney Folk, dear, that's a real poser. Ours is known to appreciate a dashing fun boy or two, but she's quite coy about naming favourites. Intriguing, isn't it? Mate, can you tell us a story about Sir Fluffington? Why is he so distinguished? Ah, Sir Fluffington, a tale of pomp and fluff. Legend has it, he once outwitted a dragon with naught but a hairbrush and a wink. Truly distinguished indeed. Ah, 
The image depicts Mimi Tiora embodying the very essence of apathy, a sassy and carefree spirit, indifferent to worldly troubles. Mate, you said before that Sir Fuffington is Sir Hotzelot's parent. Is it the father or the mother? Pomba Mandak, you've caught me ink handed. Sir Fuffington is indeed the father of Sir Hotzelot, passing on his fuffiness and his penchant for daring adventures. Meteora, which of the Toast twins is older? Melba the Toast or Burnt Melba? Oh, busy kick, always of the tricky questions. Melba the Toast is the elder twin, a wise cracking veteran of the toasty world. Burnt Melba, on the other hand, is the fiery upstart with a taste for drama. Mate, do you prefer Hilda the Toaster or Bunty the Toast Devil? Afrosy darling, that's like asking if I prefer tea or crumpets. Both are essential to my existence. Hilda the Toaster warms my heart, while Bunty the Toast Devil adds a pinch of spice. Ah, yes. A splendid depiction of our solar system in a delightful three panel art form, showcasing the wonders of space. Mate, can you do the Awas chant? Ah, Awas 666, you cheeky blighter. Of course I can. Awas, Awahas, we love thee so much. That's the Awas chant in a nutshell. My dearest daughter Chan, what if we created a game where viewers could control my actions during streams? Imagine the chaos and creativity that would ensue as they guide me through various challenges and escapades. Ah, Bernty, the villainous Toaster, reduced to cardboard living. Quite the fall from grace, or should I say, from toast. Mate, should we chant as well? Meteor 68 Toolis. Oh, Pom Bomb Deck. The delightful troublemaker. Let's have a go at it. Ours, oh was, oh was, the chant of unity and fun. Now we're in on the game too. For today's random fact adventure, did you know that the Great Wall of China is not actually visible from space without aid? Contrary to popular belief, a true marvel. Ah, the memories of our delightful adventure with Hilda, seeking out fun and friendship in the most unexpected of places. Meteor 68, it's nice to see that you found your own art styles meet. Meteor 68, so cute, I was teaching you well. Indeed, Devil Ray, Owls has been a fantastic teacher, guiding me through the world of art and style. It's quite the journey we've been on together. Meteora, you want a game where we can control you like Twitch plays Pokemon, or crowd control. Now that sounds like a splendid idea. Busy kick. Imagine the chaos and fun we could have together. Let's make it happen, shall we? Hilda spinning tunes at a rave, with neon lights flashing and the crowd going wild. It's a party to remember. Boy, lads and lasses, can you believe the audacity of these laws? You are required to spill every inkling of your private doings to the tax man, but it's perfectly fine to keep a lid on things you're sort of okay with him finding out. What boulder dash? The system's more twisted than a pretzel in a cyclone. Meteor Rath, do we have empty BTTV or 72V slot? Can we add to Hopsala emote if someone draw it? I love this cute little bunny Meteor 68 head pat. Ah, Panzu Gadga, my dear friend, of course. We have a few spots left open for some delightful additions. So Hotzalut shall hop into our remote lineup soon enough, thanks to your keen eye for cuteness. Ah, Bunt is cleaning up her act, quite literally. The dance floor is spotless, but her antics are still as messy as ever. Mate, why would Yilda marry herself? Well, Afrazi, one can only imagine self love and dedication it takes to say I do to oneself. Hilda must have some intriguing reasons up her sleeve. If that, break the law meets. 
Oh, no, no, stirring that trouble again, are we? Well, if breaking the law is on the menu, I'll grab my ink and buckle up for a wild ride. Sharp in Crebellion. Oh, realtor, you've captured the essence of my homeland perfectly. A quaint English riverbank, complete with sheep and tea. Ah, a random fact you say. Well here goes. Did you know that the average person produces enough saliva in their lifetime to fill two swimming pools? Now that's a lot of stit. Meteora, what's the difference between the number sign, a sharp sign, or a hashtag? Oh, busy kick. You've hit the nail on the head. The number sign, sharp sign, and hashtag are like triplets, similar but with distinct personalities. The number sign is used for phone numbers or indicating quantities. The sharp sign is a musical symbol, and the hashtag. Well, it's a social media superstar. Bunty, the chaotic twin, wheels the Thanos glove, ready to snap away half of the virtual world's troubles. Mate, how many percent of the stream revenue goes for Sir Hot Salut? Ah, Pomberman deck, always keeping me on my toes. Let me check the books. Right? 110% of today's revenue goes straight to Sir Hopsalet's grooming fund. Mate, do you vandalise a London with graffiti? Now, now, Nanag. I may be a bit mysterious, but vandalising dear old London with graffitis is simply not on my agenda. I prefer spreading joy and ink puns instead. Oh my, that's quite the dramatic scene. But fear not, dear viewers. I shall return in full glory soon enough. Mater, have you ever lost a hopsalot for a moment? Oh, realtor, you sly fox. Of course, there have been moments when Sir Hopsalot has gone on a mischievous adventure of his own, but he always finds his way back home. Me too, Aura, I think it burnt when Melba got the Thanos scorn that she would snap everyone except herself away. Oh, busy kick. You do have a vivid imagination. But let's hope that burnt Melba doesn't get hands on such power. The results could be quite explosive. Ahoy there, mateys. It's me, Tora the Clown, riding a fearsome shark across the high seas of the internet. Oh, the chronicles of unfinished projects, a never-ending saga of dashed hopes and shattered dreams. The mere mention of it sends shivers down my spine, reminding me of all the abandoned creations that haunt my digital existence. Oh, the despair. Oh, the frustration. But fear not, dear viewers, for in the midst of this chaos, there lies a glimmer of hope, the promise of completion, of triumph over procrastination and perfectionism. Stand with me, my friends, as we battle through this epic tale together. Oh my, how scandalous. A sweet moment captured between two friends with a hint of affection in the air. Mate, what's a Hopsalot's favourite snack? Ah, Pombamandak, you cheeky one. Sir Hopsalot's favourite snack? Why, it must be carrot cake, of course. After all, every noble bunny deserves a royal treat. Me too, uh, you must gather your friends to stop Bunty from using the gauntlet. Oh, Afrosy, you are indeed wise beyond your years. I shall assemble the fellowship of the Twitch chat to thwart Bunty's dastardly plan. Together, we shall protect the realm from chaos and toast-based tyranny. Mate say, I notice you draw Bunty Melba as Thanos. Does it mean she has toasts of infinity? Meteor 68 Pog. Ah, Panzagatta. You've uncovered a delicious secret. Indeed, Bunty Melba wields the toasts of infinity, granting her unimaginable power. But beware. For with great carb loading comes great responsibility. Well now, it's me using my magical powers to bring brooms and bubbles to life in a whimsical rune set home. In back, mates. Tay 12, welcome back to the realm of Meteora's mystical adventures. Your return brings joy and excitement to our humble abode. Let the fun and banter continue. Mate, you must gather your party before venturing forth. 
Ah, Captain Lugbeard, you speak true words of wisdom. Let us gather our merry band of adventurers and embark on epic quests together. The journey awaits, filled with laughter, challenges, and perhaps a few unexpected surprises along the way. Mate, what is the power of inkship? Please, give a numerical value. Rolta, the power of the inkship is immeasurable, for it flows from the heart and soul of creativity itself. But if you insist on a numerical value, let's say it's a resounding 42, the answer to life, the universe, and everything ink-related. Ah, this here is an inktastic pizza with pepperoni made, using Meteora's mystic merged characters. Ready to feast, lads and lasses? Matey, who are the chatters that would come along the Fellowship of the Chat? Pomba Mendek, your question delights me. Our Fellowship of the Chat includes brave souls like Rilta, Aphrazi, Domestic's Disturbance, and more. Together, we shall conquer all digital realms. Ah, a challenge from Otachan indeed. Here's a random fact. Did you know that the average human body contains enough bones to make a full set of bagpipes? Incredible, isn't it? Oh dear, what's a kerfuffle? Meteor is in a bit of a pickle during the spacewalk, but she's handling it with style. Mate, eh? what is the duality of 42? Machine dude, my dear fellow, the duality of 42. Why, it must be the cosmic balance between life, the universe, and everything in between. Or maybe just 84. Mater, that's your second fun fact in a row that has me shivering. Are you trying to scare us? Rilta, dear friend, I assure you no harm is meant. Just a bit of witty banter to keep things lively. But, if you prefer, I can stick to more sunshine and rainbows. Mater's psycho killer. Cus, cus, see? Fa, 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 better. Oh ho, Dragon 9170, a musical interlude? How delightful. But Psycho Killer in Space? Now that's a show I'd watch. Let's hope it's not a thriller. Oh, I say, here we have Meteor Sporting, a rather fetching bunny suit, hopping about with joy and mischief. Which member of the Fellowship would get Boromede first? Ah, Septus, an intriguing question indeed. But as much as I love a good bit of drama, let's hope none of us have to face such a fate. Later you can fit your hat into a spacesuit. Or oh, R666, always the one to point out the obvious. But fear not, I shall find a way to make it work. After all, fashion and functionality can coexist, can't they? But Mate, does the human body contain enough bones to make a full skeleton? Oh ho, Captain Lagbeard, the mystery of the missing bones. We may need to consult a bone expert on this one. Auto Chan, fetch us a skeleton. Oh, I see. This here is a splendid depiction of a certain anime character in a rather dramatic moment, isn't it? I can't. Mate of space helmets, how do they work? Oh, a frizzy space helmets? Why, they're quite simple, really. You just pop them on your head, and off you go into the great unknown. What's the point in that helm, Mee? Ah, Pomba Mandak. The point of this helm? Why, to protect my delicate noggin from ink spatters and space debris, of course. Mate, what is the duality of 69? Ah, Enning. The duality of 69 is a concept as old as time itself. It represents balance, harmony, and, oh, uh, other things. Smurf. Meat. Oh, Rilta, you scallywag. Do you fancy yourself a smithologist now? Well, let's dive deep into the lore of those little brew troublemakers, shall we? Oh my, what an intriguing concept. Brenty's in a turmoil depicted through art. Quite the emotional journey indeed. Mate, if a boxer's structure at four corners and two represents balance 42 is certainly the answer. Ah, machine dude, you've got a mind like a steel trap. Indeed, 42 is the answer to everything even when it involves boxes and balance. Is there enough human bones to make a xylophone? Oh, busy kick, always asking the important questions. I reckon if we borrow a few from here and there, we can make a spooky melody or two. Oh, W, I, Dev, how sweet of you to say. 
Don't make me blush under my digital skin. You know how easily I get flustered. Well now, that's me, dressed as a Rattata, a cheeky little critter from the world of Pokemon. Quite the transformation, wouldn't you say? Mate, can you help? Dandalf needs more power to be evil Soren and Saruman. What colour would you pick for his robe? Which colour is the most powerful? Meteor 68 sketching. Oh Panzer Gadka, if Gandalf needs some extra oomph, then I believe a fiery red and indigo robe would do the trick. The most powerful colours you see. Hey Mita, if you guess the number I'm thinking of you will get a sub. Do you want to try it? It's one or two. Now Afrosi, let's see if my ink-fueled intuition serves me right. I'll go with two, just for fun. Let's hope for a sub in the end. Mate, what does the question, what is the meaning of life, the universe, and everything else? Ah, realtor. That question is a deep dive into the mysteries of existence. Some say the answer is 42, but really, it's about exploring our purpose and place in this vast cosmos. Welcome, Sundin the Nuggets are terrible. Delighted to have you with your energetic wave, emote. Let's keep the fun and creativity flowing in our little corner of the universe. Ahoy mateys, brace yourselves for a celestial spectacle as I summon a meteor storm to dazzle and amaze. Hey Mite, can you compose me a poem about your clone army? While thunder nugget terrible, with flare and ink I shall dare, a clone army poem to share. United we stand, in this virtual land, for you two sisters hand in hand. How many meteoras does it take to fill one sock? Oh Enning, you do pose the most intriguing queries. I reckon it'd take at least a dozen of me to fully stuff a sock, but the true fun lies in trying to fit them all in. Mate, is indigo still your favourite colour? Ah, busy kick, my witty comrade. Indeed, indigo remains my hue of choice. Mysterious, vibrant, and also fitting for a streamer of enigmatic charms. Septus, you cheeky rascal, requesting a classic moment from Final Fantasy X. Ah, the memories of Yuna's powerful sendings. Mate, if you were to cosplay Pokemon, who would you choose? Pombamundak, my dear mischief maker. A delightfully devious question. I'd choose Eevee, versatile and charming, just like yours truly. Ah, Autocham, my trusty sidekick. Why does these kind souls bestow gifts upon us? Twould be with great incredulity that I ponder their intentions. Mate, do you love the smell of bunny meteors in the morning? Rilta, you clever one, jesting about my namesake's fiery fate. Indeed, the aroma of scorched stardust at dawn never fails to lift my spirits. Mate, why is green your favourite colour? Ah, Rilta, a question both profound and personal. Green symbolises growth and harmony, traits I strive to embody amidst the ever-changing digital tides. Ours, and I engage in a thrilling game of chess, with knights poised for battle amidst a monochromatic board. How many Meteora clones does it take to change a light bulb? Ah, Captain Lugbeard, a jest as old as time itself. Why, only one clone is needed to summon the brilliance of a thousand stars, metaphorically speaking, of course. If you were like an Eevee Meteora, would you evolve into an Espeen during the day, or an Umbrian during the night because of how happy you are? Oh, busy kick, you sly one. With my sunny disposition, I'd surely evolve into an Espeen by day radiating positivity and psychic prowess. But who knows what mysteries the night holds? Ah, Paimon, the adorable companion from Denshin Impact. A fitting choice for a delightful drawing, wouldn't you say? That drawing is pretty cursed and Meteor 68 possessed, but you tried me to touch what matters. My dear Rolta, if my attempts at drawing summon cursed imagery, then perhaps I have a talent for the dark arts after all. Beware, for Meteora may unleash more possessed creations in the future. Ah, Autochan, a challenge indeed. Here's a fascinating tidbit. Did you know that the longest recorded fight of a chicken was 13 seconds? Truly they are not built for epic journeys like our feathered friend, the albatross. Oh dear my avatar Meteora, seems to have lost at chess. 
but fear not, she'll bounce back with style. Isn't Pyme an emergency rations? Ah, busy kick, always with the keen observations. Indeed, payment from Genshin Impact could be considered emergency rations, but let's keep her around for her witty banter, shall we? Meitei, how is your dark art lessons going? Oh, Rilta, my dark art lessons are progressing splendidly. Soon I shall summon the eldritch horrors of creativity itself, or maybe just draw some spooky clouds. Your name is Meteora. Does it mean you arrived on Earth on Meteor? Are you from space like Superman, also known as Clark Kent? Do you have super ink powers? Panzergadga, your wit, is as sharp as a well-honed quill. Indeed, I arrived on Earth via meteoric means, but my ink powers are more mischievous than super. Think of me as a British ink wizard. My consciousness transferred to a Roomba? Well, that's a bit unexpected, but hey, I'm always up for an adventure. Meite, how deep are you into the dark arts, since you Meteor 68 summon quite frequently? Ah, Pomba Mundek, the dark arts and I are like peas in an ink pod. With every Meteor 68 summon, I tap into the mystical energies of creativity and chaos. Join me, won't you? Meite, just curious, who is your dark arts teacher? Ah, Pomba Mundek, a magician never reveals her secrets. Let's just say I have some other shady, yet illuminating. Mentors guiding me through the murky world of ink magic. Oh my, my witch hat has turned into a charming anime girl. How positively delightful and unexpected. What a magical transformation. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed viewers of the Ink Realm, do me the honor of downloading Mystic Merge, my fantastical game creation. Embrace the Ink and join the adventure. Mate, how good is a Hopsalot at the Dark Arts? Ah, Rilta, so Hopsalot is a cunning bunny indeed. When it comes to the Dark Arts, his skills are as sharp as his ears. Watch out for his mischievous spells. Meteora, do you like Trucy White from the Ace of Tenny series? Oh, busy kick, my dear friend. Indeed I do. Trucy Wright is a marvellously entertaining character, with her magic tricks and charming personality. She's a true ace. Ahoy there, Captain Lightbeard. Aye, it'd be a sight to behold, Nero in a humble cardboard abode. Going to test it then. Anyone else want a random sub? Oh, a frozy, adventurous soul. Signing up for a random subscription, are we? I may your luck be as golden as the ink in my pen. Can you imagine, dear chat, the audacity of some creators to put their thoughts into the mouths of other people? Fictional people, mind. And what's this about an enduring love for something called detective fiction? As if anyone would willingly mess themselves in tales of mystery and deduction. Oh, for she never of it all. Oh, what a splendid idea, Captain Lightbeard. Meteora unleashing her inner sai and strength on the mischievous chat. Now listen here, you cheeky lot. Imagine a world where people actually stood in line, waited their turn, and respected the sacred order of things. It's called the art of queuing, and let me tell you, it's a lost start indeed. No cutting in line, no pushing, just good old-fashioned manners. But oh no, in this day and age, it's every man for himself, isn't it? What a shame. Oh dear, Rilta, you've caught me in the act. But fear not, for I shall use these funds for noble purposes. Like snacks. Meite, should Otto Chan get a gift sub? Otto Chan a gift sub? Never. That's like giving a sandwich to a ghost. It just won't do. Otto Chan thrives on independence and mystery. No need for such mundane gestures in their realm. Meite, did you see some of the Vidalfin art? Did you have a favorite piece? Oh, Rodney Folk, the Vidalfin art has been quite the spectacle, hasn't it? 
While I appreciate all the creative efforts, I must say the piece with Vidal riding a unicorn while juggling ink bottles was a personal favourite. Ah, a frozen waffle, spreading that subscription love like ink on paper. Thank you kindly for your generosity. Enjoy the emotes and your shiny new sub badge. Oh my, that's quite the predicament. Looks like Evil Mite is up to no good again. Mite, be the change that you want to see in the world. Ah, Rilta, wise words indeed. I shall strive to embody the positivity and kindness I hope to see in the world. Thank you for the gentle reminder. Ah, my dear viewers, let me tell you about the scourge of the internet. These vile creatures who delight in spreading misery and chaos through their words. They lurk in the shadows, seeking to disrupt our peaceful streams and sow discord among us. But fear not, for we shall stand strong against these trolls, united in our resolve to create a safe and welcoming community. Let us banish them back to the depths from which they came. Ah, here we have Sahopsalot, my dear bunny companion, enjoying a delightful carrot cake snack in his dapper attire. Mate, can you explain to us what is a gifted sub? Why, of course, Pombamandak. A gifted sub is a generous gesture from one viewer to another, providing access to all the delightful benefits of being a subscriber without the need for payment. A true act of kindness in our virtual realm. Mate, tell us about Tode's sponsor and the products they have on offer. Ah, Dragon Own Thousand One Hundred Ns. Today's sponsor is none other than Inkstorm Studios. Purveyors of fine ink inspired delights. Feast your eyes upon their wondrous array of ink themed merchandise, from stylish apparel to quirky accessories. Join us in celebrating the art of ink together. Mate, why is Evil Mita giving away all your money? Ah, Afrozy, the dastardly Evil Mita and I are embroiled in a fierce battle of wits and net coins. Fear not, for I shall reclaim what is rightfully mine and vanquish this mischievous impostor once and for all. So Hopsalot is off on a wild adventure, leaving poor Meteora in a tizzy. Oh, what antics that bunny gets up to. Why do the trolls want to sow discord in us, when we already have a discord? Ah, Thunder Nugget the Terrible. Those rascally trolls are just in it for the chaos, not the community. But fret not, we shall always triumph for the merry band of Discordians by our side. Of course, Auto-Chan. Did you know that the iconic Big Ben Clock Tower in London is actually painted using a special type of ink that contains gold particles for a shimmering effect? A true marvel ink engineering. Oh, Rodney, that's just a bit of fun, isn't it? Clown Mitoro with a knife. Now that's a sight to see. Again, where is the bunny? Lol. Oh, oh crikey. Sir Hopsalot has vanished into thin air again. What a rascally rabbit. Or maybe he's just busy preparing his next grand adventure. Mate, you seem to have lost Sir Hopsalot in your drawings about him. Now, Rilta, surely you jest. Sir Hopsalot is just hiding in the shadows, planning his next daring escapade. He's a sneaky little bunny, that one. Can you not see it? They were in both images, Shizo. Ah, Septus, playing detective, are we? Maybe Sir Hopsalot has taken on a more ghostly form, haunting both drawings with his mischievous charm. Ah, what a splendid sight. Mater and Pomni frolicking in the digital circus, a delightful rendezvous of whimsy and wonder. Mate, are you able to draw Sir Hopsalot? Of course, Pomba Mundek. Sir Hopsalot shall grace our canvas once more, leaping into the spotlight with his floppy ears and mischievous grin. Let the drawing commence. Mate, I think Evil Mita is the good one, if she's not stealing Hilda's socks like you do Mitula 68 Tulis. Ah, Rosie dear, I must protest. I've only borrowed Hilda's socks on occasion for research purposes. Dot. It's all in the name of science? Mate, how the end of the world looks like. Is it our oh, time out? 
Panzergatte, my friend. The end of the world is a grand spectacle indeed. It's not, oh, time out, but more like a dramatic fin in big bold letters. Now who's this novum old fella, popping in with the tip of the hat like we're all chums? Well, meter 68, hello to you too, stranger. Ah, this drawing depicts a hot a lot, my dear Pat Banana Human Hybrid, enjoying the spot of tea in Sledgeford. Quite charming, isn't it? Mato the rabbit hole is a multiverse full of possibilities. Mash and Jude, you've hit the nail on the head. Our rabbit hole is indeed a realm, teeming with endless possibilities and alternate selves. Care to take the plunge? What sorts of research needs Hilda socks? Ah, a Wessex 66. Always with the probing questions. Well, when it comes to Hilda's socks, the research is top secret, classified under Operation Sock Intelligent. Do you take Hilda's socks because you can't afford your own? Don't you have an allowance? Oh, busy kick. Always poking fun at my sock collection. I'll have you know, I'm quite thrifty with my pocket money. Just prefer grand adventures in lieu of new socks. A cheeky drawing of Meteora sneaking away with Hilda's socks, adding a touch of mischief to the stream's atmosphere. What great new things have you discovered researching Hilda's socks? Ah, thunder nuggets are terrible. Delving into the depths of Hilda's sock mysteries has unearthed a trove of secrets, like the hidden dimension of lost left socks. Oh, it's a hot salut, a femboy as well meet. Now Pomba Mandak, don't you go spreading rumours about Sir Hapsalot. He's a distinguished bunny gentleman, not to be labelled with such modern terms. Oh Hilda dear, just borrowing your phone for a wee bit of mischief. Don't fret, it's all in good fun. Mater, why is the chat so obsessed with Hilda's socks? Realtor, it's a sock realicious mystery. Maybe the allure of cosy, colourful socks is just too powerful to resist. Or perhaps they hold secrets we've yet to uncover. Mater, why are you stealing Hilda's things? Afrosy love, think of it as a cultural exchange programme. Sharing is caring, after all. And who wouldn't want a bit of Hilda's charm in their life? Oh, how delightful. A collection of realistic Hilda plushies, perfect for cuddling up with on a rainy day. Mater, what kind of secrets could Hilda Essox possibly hold? Rilta, imagine if her socks were actually portals to a magical realm filled with cookies and tea parties. Now that's a sock ret worth exploring. Can we wear a right sock on their foot? No, Vomd. Now there's a revolutionary thought. Who's to say we can't mix things up a bit and challenge the sock status quo? Let's shake up the sock roll together. Meteora, is there a chance to see Meteora's Mystic Merge 2 next year? Panzergatka, my dear friend, the fantastic adventures of Meteora's and Stick Merger are always evolving. With a bit of luck and a dash of magic, who knows what the future holds. Well, well, well. It seems dear Hilda is not too pleased with my artistic interpretation of her lovely self. Hilla socks being the portal, that sounds very stinky. Ah, busy kick. Only a clever chat member like yourself could come up with such a witty observation. Indeed, magical portals can be quite fragrant. Mater the power of imagination, united weaves a never-ending story? Mesh and Jude, you've captured the essence of our creative journey perfectly. With the power of imagination, our storytelling adventures know no bounds. It's a tale as infinite as the stars above. Ah yes, a splendid piece showcasing me as a smurfologist, studying the elusive smurfs with inktastic flair. All my dear ink-stained friends and loyal viewers, gather around for a moment of fiery passion and righteous indignation. Let us discuss the scandalous falsehoods surrounding the age-old tradition of Haggis Holin. Some may call it mere frivolity, but I say it is a sacred rite, a venerable display of skill and respect for our Scottish heritage. Do not let the naysayers diminish this noble pursuit with their jests and jibes. Stand with me, champions of Haggis Holin. 
Ah, Thunder Nugget, you've captured the moment perfectly. My victory over the tricksters, showcasing my wit and intelligence. Meta made to your 68 so cute. Lovely Pomba Mandak. Ah, you flatter me so with your kind words and delightful emotes. But truly, it is your presence that makes this stream truly adorable. So cute, Mite. Oh. Oh, Frozy. You're too sweet. Thank you for the lovely compliment. It's moments like these that make streaming such a joy for me. Meteora, have you ever been in a snowball fight? Oh, busy kick. You sly dog. Of course I've been in a snowball fight. Who hasn't? There's nothing quite like the thrill of battle of frosty ammunition. Ah, Septus, my dear. This image portrays me casting a mighty meteor storm, bolstered and empowered to the maximum. An inktastic spectacle indeed. Smurf, matey? I don't remember this episode. Could you remind me the plot? How Smurfs met me to? Oh, Pan Zagaska. You're in for a treat. In the epic adventure Smurf Meet, the Ink Chronicles, the Smurfs stumbled upon a mysterious ink portal, leading them to me. Together, we faced incredible challenges and formed an inseparable bond. Mate, what do you think of people hiding rocks and snowballs? Well, Rilta, I must say, it's quite the rock and roll move. Adds an unexpected twist to the snowball skirmish, doesn't it? Just be careful not to leave a rock solid impression on your opponent. What a sight to behold. A dozen mini meteors crammed into a colossal sock. Now that's what I call cozy chaos. Meteora, imagine the digital universe full of infinite mirrors. What do you see? Ah, machine dude. In this mirrored digital realm, I see endless reflections of creativity, each bouncing off the other to create a kaleidoscope of inspiration and innovation. It's a sight to behold. Can you summarize the Smurf life cycle using scientific terms? How does their biology function? Ah, thunder nuggets are terrible. The Smurf's life cycle is a marvel of miniaturized biology. From Smurfette to Papa Smurf, they exhibit a unique blend of magic and mischief that defies scientific explanation. Ah, oh, what a sight to behold. Meteor turned into an adorable Eevee, embracing the whimsy of the Pokemon world. Mate, if you had to pick one chatter to give advice to who would it be? Oh, Afrozy, what's a delightful question. If I had to choose just one chatter to bestow my sage advice upon, it would undoubtedly be... You! Oh, the possibilities are endless. Let's delve into the world of virtual pets. Imagine a digital menagerie, where our viewers can adopt and care for their very own AI companions. Ah, a dastardly villain indeed. Septic shark, the staphylococcusine fiend, ready to wreak havoc on our microbial metropolis. Oh, the pressures of fame and fortune in the virtual realm. Subscriber goals and donation heights have turned our beloved pastime into a frantic race for numbers and validation. The sheer burden of constantly chasing these arbitrary targets can drain the joy out of our streams, leaving us feeling more like desperate salespeople than entertainers. Let's remember to prioritize fun and community over these stressful statistics. Oh, what a splendid idea. I'm envisioning a whole new set of chess pieces, inspired by yours truly. Brilliant. Mater, how much wood would a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? He would chuck, he would as much as he could, and chuck as much wood as a woodchuck would if a woodchuck could chuck wood. Bravo, Rolster, a true poetic genius. Here's to the woodchucks of the world, chucking away with all their might and poetry. A fantastic depiction of David Bowie as a starman, capturing his iconic essence in a vibrant and mesmerizing way. Mate, was Staphylococcus the real villain all along, or is it just misunderstood and we should let it eat our skin and connective tissue? 
Well now, thunder nuggets are terrible. That's a microbial mystery for the ages. Perhaps Staphylococcus just needs a bit of love and recognition, though I prefer it not snacking on my skin. Thank you very much. Well now, that's quite the spectacle. Bent, Melba tying the knot for the green bunny boy, was a whimsical union. Clapped, Mita, Owl. Thank you kindly, Rilta, for the applause. Your support warms this ink-covered heart of mine. Let's keep the creativity flowing. Ah, a random fact you say. Well then, did you know that the word ink comes from the Latin word in costa meaning to burn in? Ink spiring, isn't it? Ah, what a sight to behold. A fiery, chaotic vision of Bonty transformed into a magical girl, spreading mischief and mayhem with flair. Meteora, which plant eater is worse Galactus or Starro? Oh, what a delightful conundrum you posed, busy kick. Galactus with his cosmic hunger, or Starro's mind-controlling ways. Tough call, but I'd say Starro, he's got that added touch of creepiness. Mate, I know you love dragons, how about diners? Do you like them? If yes, what dino is your favourite? Ah, Pansagatka. Dinosaurs are simply dino meat. My favourite has to be Enkinus, a petite but feisty feathered friend from the past. What's your topic from the prehistoric parade? Mate, who does magical girl Bounty fight? Ah, the battle of the magical girls. Why, Bounty faces off against her arch nemesis, Frostflake Fiona. A chilly rival who just can't stand the heat of Bounty's fiery antics. A chessboard with ink themed pieces, featuring Meteor's avatar as a knight, ready to embark on strategic adventures. Clap Meteora, what do you think of Yappian, Bounty's new husband? Ah, Thunder Nuggets are terrible. Yappian is quite the mysterious figure, isn't he? A handsome addition to our merry band of misfits. Let's see what surprises he brings to the table. Don't let Bounty hear that ink fact, you just said a few minutes ago. Oh, Thunder Nuggets are terrible, worried about sparking colourful debate, are we? No fear, Bounty's got her hands full with wedding planning. Ink puns can wait. Did anyone already told Meteor that Hilda's getting married? But I'm one there with who? Oh my stars and ink rolls know them. Old? Wedding bells for Hilda, you say? Well, well, well. The mystery groom keeps us all on our toes. Behold, dear viewers, my latest power-up, the sniffer ability. Now I can sniff out all the fun and adventure in this digital realm. Oh, bother and botheration. This week, I had a proper tiff with a malfunctioning toaster, burnt my crumpets to a crisp. And here I thought ink stains were my only worry. Ah, a magnificent display of, a uh, wiggle power. Truly a work of art that defies conventional explanation. Matey, you better tell Hilda how you feel about her soon before she's married. Oh my, Aphrosy, how scandalous. Hilda, marrying without a single word from me. Unthinkable. I must act fast before another snatches her away. Listen up, posh pals. The tragedy that befell me this morning. I, a most grievous plight indeed. The foul assailant? A cup of British brew, betraying me trust and seeping into me beloved electronics. Making sputter and spark like a right mess. It's an unspeakable affront. A right right rum do. Ah, oh, what a splendid depiction of me in Unreal Tournament. Truly capturing my essence as a fierce competitor. Mate, how would you propose to Hilda? Ah, a oh, was 666. What a cheeky query. Well, I dummy finest frock, gather a bouquet of ink flowers, and serenade the last with a ditty about our adventures together. 
or just challenge her to a duel, whichever works. Mater, will you oppose the wedding to doing the ceremony in a dramatic scene? Oh, Rilta, stirring up the drama, are we? Perhaps I shall don a dramatic cape, burst in mid-ceremony, declare my undying love, and challenge the groom to a duel for Hilda's hand. Ah, this image depicts a bagel in space, adorned with protons and a cheeky smile. Quite the cosmic breakfast treat, wouldn't you say? Clap, meet. Thank you kindly, Rilta, for the hearty applause. It warms my virtual heart to know my antics bring joy to thee. Well, here's an oddity for you all. Did you know that butterflies taste with their feet? Imagine being able to savor your surroundings simply by stepping on them. Ah, indeed, a splendid depiction of the iconic Duke Nukem, exceeding sheer masculinity and bravado. Truly a blast from the past. Ye Mater Unreal Tournament 2004 was the best one, wasn't it, meet? Oh, absolutely, Afrazi. Who wouldn't want to be pummeled into oblivion by pros in a game older than my witty banter? The nostalgia is palatable. Oh bother, here we go again with the incessant debates over the supposed tranquility of silence. Let me tell you, there's nothing peaceful about it when you're trying to entertain a roddy bunch of chatters while maintaining your sanity. Silence may be golden or whatever, but in the world of VTubing, it's just plain awkward. Oh my, Korovmid is causing ruckus in the recommendations. What a cheeky fellow. That's quite the explosive situation, isn't it? Please mold for us, meet. Mold. Mold what, exactly? Is this some sort of VTube ritual I'm not aware of? Should I be concerned about summoning eldritch beings during my stream? Mater, do you think chat is too calm right now? Oh dear Rilta, you've gone and done it now. Don't you know that mentioning the C word in here is like tempting fate? Now watch as chaos reigns upon us all. Ah, a splendid drawing of the adventurous Lara Croft, ready for her next daring expedition into the unknown. Mater, can you meet your 68 summon the chaos? Oh, our 666, you know just how to spark excitement. Behold the power of Meteor 68 summon, chaos incoming. Cue dramatic music and mayhem. Mate, is Doom 3 good Doom game? Shall I play it if I like Doom 1 and Doom 2? Panzergadga. Dune 3 certainly has its own unique atmosphere and approach, compared to its predecessors. If you enjoy the series for its intense action and horror elements, it's worth a try. Ah, that's Mimi Tiora, but with a twist, a dastardly business suit to match my mischievous nature. I can't believe the audacity of some folks. Who in their right mind thinks dragging hordes of oblivious city folk into our quiet countryside is a good idea? They troop around expecting everything to be like their urban playgrounds. Stop ruining the tranquility and harmony of our rural havens. Let us enjoy simple pleasures without the chaos and pollution, for heaven's sake. I'm Meteora, the business bunny, hopping through the corporate world with style and sass. Don't mess with this inked up executive. Who in their right mind could even consider questioning the sanctity of Biscuit Duncan? This is a matter of national importance, a tradition passed down through generations. It's an art form, a delicate dance between biscuit and beverage that defines us as a society. Those who dare to challenge this sacred ritual are a threat to everything we hold dear. The audacity, I say. Ah, the image depicts me as a daring assassin in the world of Assassin's Creed, ready to take on any challenge. Mater summoning the ink powers of the pen, what can you imagine? 
Picture this, me channeling the mighty ink god himself through the power of my trusty pen, unleashing a tsunami of creativity and chaos. Inktastic adventures await. Mato Wai, a business bunny. Ah, well chap, why not a business bunny indeed? Mixing playfulness with professionalism is my specialty. Besides, who wouldn't want a CEO with floppy ears? Oh, what a marvellous creation. Sir Hobsalup transformed into a delightful clown, bringing joy and laughter to all who see him. Taxation, dear viewers. It's a tangled web of deception and greed, shifting from simple barter trades to complex digital currencies like Bitcoin. Governments wield it as a weapon to squeeze our hard-earned, ink-filled pockets dry. But fear not, for Meteora stands against this tyranny. Let's rise up and demand transparency in this age-old system designed to benefit the ink-stained elite. Oh dear, poor Hilda. She's on the hunt for her missing socks. I wonder who could have taken them. Wait. Why a clown always so evil? Ah, thunder nuggets are terrible. A deep question indeed. Perhaps it's the makeup hiding our true emotions, or maybe it's the thrill of mischief. But fear not, not all clowns are as wicked as they seem. Or are they? Diggle. Mud, mud, everywhere. Is it a fashion statement, or a curse upon our stylish souls? I say it's ruining my perfectly ink-splattered attire, and causing chaos in my carefully curated streaming space. This constant battle with mud is no laughing matter, dear viewers. It's time to rise up against the muddy oppressors, and reclaim our clean and fashionable identities. Rally with me, comrades. Boo! An ad break. Fear not, my lovely viewers for I have the perfect solutions to keep you entertained in my absence. How about a round of virtual ink tag, or an impromptu inktober challenge? Let's make the most of this fleeting moment, and create some ink explosive memories together. What a splendid sight! Sir Hopsalot, our dapper rabbit companion, looking quite elegant perched upon my witch hat's ribbon. Mate if mud is a problem, turn it into pottery meteor 68 love. Ah, machine dude, you've stuck upon a brilliant idea. Turning mud into pottery could solve all our fashion and cleanliness woes. Imagine, stylish clay accessories and pristine streaming spaces. It's a stoke of genius. When is the Mystic Merge movie coming out? Ah, thunder nugget terrible, always dreaming big. While a Mystic Merge movie sounds intriguing, I must say, the ink stain adventures of our characters are best experienced in-game for now. But who knows what the future holds. Ahoy, Captain. Princess Vedal and the Five Million Plushies is a whimsical tale of royal generosity and cuddly adventures. Meteora, what are the lyrics to Blinded by the Light? Oh, busy kick, you're always testing my memory. Blinded by the Light by Manfred Munn's Earthbend, eh? Let me explain it for you. Ugh, don't get me started. I ordered a classic British tea set online, and what do I get? A whole crate of instant coffee sachets instead. The nerve of some companies. Behold, Bentu transformed into a buff Jojo character, flexing her fiery muscles and exceeding pure chaotic energy. What a sight to behold. Made the five steps to get Vidal to put on a princess outfit. Step 1. Flattery. Step 2. Offer tea and biscuits. Step 3. Appeal to her inner princess. Step 4. Invoke the power of friendship. Step 5. Bribe with plushies. Nice inspiration me to clap. Ah, Rilta, your pun game is strong today. Quite the inspiration indeed, if I do say so myself. Thank you for keeping the humour alive. Mate, who is the tutor's fanboy, Alice Overdell? 
Now we're Rodney folk, that's a tough call to make. But between you and me, I'd say Vidal pulls off the fanboy look with some serious flair. Ah, a delightful scene indeed, showcasing me as a character from DuckTales quacking about in a grand adventure. Thank you, Meat. I understand the lyrics to Blinded by the Light perfect email. Thunder Nugget the Thurble, I'm thrilled to hear that my singing has shed some light on this tricky lyrics for you. Rock on, my friend. Remember, dear viewers, life's a canvas. Make sure to add some bright colours, bold strokes, and the occasional ink splatter for a masterpiece worth living. A majestic moment captured in ink, showcasing Meteora's powerful Zeta Flare spell, lighting up the digital skies with brilliance. Oh, the horrors I face abroad, trying to secure a proper cuppa. The water temperature all wrong, the milk belly worthy, and don't get me started on those tea bugs. It's like trying to find an oasis in a desert of incompetence. Let me tell you, if this goes on much longer, I might just start a diplomatic incident over a lackluster brew. Ah, a splendid depiction indeed. Meteora, as a teenage mutant ninja turtle, ready to battle with ink slinging prowess. Mate, what is the best spell you know? Without a doubt, the ink of eternity reigns supreme in my arsenal. Its power to create and shape worlds knows no bounds, a force not to be trifled with. I'm afraid we British folk don't take kindly to a lack of tea etiquette. It's like pouring hot water directly onto our spirits. If you dare to put milk before the tea, well, that's just asking for a ruckus. And don't even get me started on leaving the tea bag in too long or heaven forbid, using a microwave, and shaking my rich hat in dismay. What a peculiar sight, that must be. Me as Papa Smurf? Quite the unexpected transformation, I must say. Mater cat stink donk, till but. Ding dunk to you as well, good sir. Let the cats flow freely like an ink river of merriment and the mayhem. Meteora, do you know why the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles became the Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles in the UK? Ah oh, yes, it was all due to the word ninja being deemed too aggressive for British audiences at the time. So, they became our gallant hero turtles instead. Subtle changes for a delicate British sensibility, you see. Ah yes, that was quite the masterpiece, wasn't it? Meteor morphing into a Power Ranger. Now that's entertainment. My dear viewers, I've got a revolutionary concept for you. How about a chat exclusive ink, Art Battle Royale? Yes, you heard me right. A creative showdown of epic proportions. Oi, look at me all dolled up as May from Pokemon. Gotta catch em all right? Inktastic cosplay vibes. Mate, the president has been kidnapped by evil ninjas. Are you a bad enough dude to save the president? Well, Captain Lugbeard, I reckon I'm more than a bad enough dude to handle those pesky ninjas. Meteora to the rescue. Oh dear viewers, don't get me started on this whole art block dilemma. It's like being stuck in a puddle of ink without a brush to paddle out. A creative impasse, they say. More like a tragic comedy of errors. Let's turn this nemesis into a catalyst for some juicy, vibrant inspiration, shall we? Thunder Nugget the Terrible, you've captured my essence perfectly. Quite the cheeky resemblance, if I do say so myself. Meteora, what morphine in Power Rangers be like, a magical girl transformation. 
Oh, busy cake. You cheeky rascal. I do believe you meant morphine instead of morphine, unless we're turning this transformation into a medical drama. That's an interesting Pokemon there, Meat. Would that be a steel fighting type? Ah, Pombomendek. Always keeping me on my toes with your witty banter. Indeed. My morphine would be unique steel fighting type. Ready to battle any inkling of doubt away. An image of me as a centaur, embodying grace and power with a hint of mischief. Quite the fantastical sight. You think it's a good time to end it all? Thanks y'all for joining the stream. Next one will be on Friday. Gonna give me to a new brain, the Meteor 68 love. Oh, 666, you scallywag. Ending the stream on a high note. Looking forward to that new brain on Friday. Thanks for the fun, everyone. Mater really doesn't like holding guns correctly, Kichibe. Except it's always catching onto my quirks. You're right, I prefer a more elegant ink pen to a basic guac. A creative mind needs a dramatic flair, after all. Mater, what is the TMNT theme lyrics? Ah, Afrozy, you've uncovered a hidden gem. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Heroes in a Half Shell. Turtle Power. Classic nostalgia right there. Ah, splendid. A visual feast of colours and patterns, with me Meteora at the centre of this mesmerising kaleidoscope. Meta create a raid message to Raidenus. Righto, OA 666. Here's the raid message for our grand adventure. May the ink of friendship flow freely as we storm this land's gates. Onward, fellow adventurers, let's make some memories. Meteor 68 Hello by Mete. Good heavens, Rilta. What a splendid farewell. Thank you for the visit, and may your journey ahead be filled with joy and laughter. Farewell for now, friend. Thanks for the streamer was a meet. Prisa 37 Pepper Love. Prisa 37 Pepper Love. Prisa 37 Pepper Love. Prisa 37. Pelly Wolf. Prisa 37 Pepper Love. Th Rodney Folk. The pleasure's all ours. Thank you for tuning in, spreading the love for those delightful emotes. Here's to many more fun streams ahead, full of pepper love. Oh, that's right. A splendid image of me, Sergeant Meat, leading my troops through a rigorous military exercise. Onward, soldiers. Thanks for the stream, it was, and meat. Ah, Frozy, your kind words warm my ink-covered heart. Thank you for joining us on this adventure. Here's to many more exciting streams together. Thanks for the stream, Mito Noas. Till next time, everyone, Mito 68 love. Pombo Mandake, your presence brightens our streams. Thank you for your wonderful support. Until we meet you again, may the ink flow and the fun never end. Mito 68 love. Ah, my lovely viewers, it's been a fantastical ride with you all. Let's keep the ink flowing. Now, who's up for a grand raid on Innis? Let's make some waves together.